Welcome to Court Farms by Oxygen David. Today, we are going to start a shorter gameplay series on here. I'm going to show you some of the equipment that I've chosen. I'm going to show you some of the fields that I've gone with because one of them is different than you get in new farmer mode. And we're going to talk a little bit about its progress uh, through at least being worked on for updates and things like that at least at the time of recording this video. This is an extremely detailed map. I mean, Oxygen David really spared no expense when it came to time and energy, making sure that everything was absolutely perfect, even down to, I mean, even in here, inside. We have an old picture, like, I'm pretty sure that's a real picture. <laughs> even throughout the entire home, there is areas where you can go. We've got a dining room area in, in here, even an old picture of a tractor. It's really, really cool, and I'm extremely excited to play on this map. Unfortunately, right now, it's only on PC. However, uh, he is working on that, getting it to on platforms at a future update, which is nice. Let's jump in this, and you probably could tell that I've gone for some green machinery, at least for this playthrough. So, uh, some stuff like these big mowers, for example, don't fit in any of the sheds which is a bit of a problem for me. Uh, around here, we've got all of the equipment that I've chosen as far as vehicles go. So we're going with a John Deere 7R270. I think this has got like 300 horsepower or something like that. Uh, there are some pieces that are still green for some reason, but yeah, it is what it is. I've also going for a 6R. This is a newer one, the 185 model. Went with an old tractor. I, I know I have these on my series and I Never use them, but I like it anyway. The 4020 diesel. And then for my small tractor, I'm going for the 5115 Ilm. I love the 5M, and, and we went with it. I've also got this guy, the John Deere uh, T670i. So a little bit bigger engine in here, and it also holds a little bit more because, well, DJ Goham may have modified it ever so slightly. Let's jump in here, and I want to show you around back. Let's see if we can get this thing backed up. I've got all of our equipment over there. There we go. All of our equipment is in here, at least for now. <laughs> We've got a big John Deere sprayer. It's actually modified by Solar Guy Modding and sent over to me. Very cool. Uh, we have a, I think this is a Vader Stad, a cedar and a fertilizer spreader or fertilizer in it. Uh, we've got the fast, faster, faster, fast bell <laughs> from Mark. Uh, what would the John Deere set up with that? And then we have a green Kubota uh, thing. A couple of those pieces are also from the uh, uh, advanced uh, bailing mod, something like that. Yeah, so here you guys go. You can see everything that I've used, plus all of the mod names and everything down below. Uh, I did want to have at least three good tractors, small, medium, and large. That way we could go through and get everything. Uh, I did go with the Cueca Radium 245 as well for our... Um, for that bit, uh, we do have the sprayer here, as I mentioned. Uh, he's modified that ever so slightly. Ultimate mowing and bailing pack. That is it. So we've got that. We've got some other stuff through there. We also have a bail loader and our header trailer. Actually, if we back out of here, I could show you where those things are. Now, I haven't done much with this map. As a matter of fact, I just jumped on it. Oh, yeah. Our tippers over there and there are headers around here. I haven't done a whole lot with this map yet. I, I just got back into the United States from a very, very long trip. It was a lot of fun, but it's a uh, well, it's been interesting. So let's take my dude here with my mohawk. We're gonna park this outside and grab our combine harvester and head over to the field. Oh yeah, speaking of fields, what do we got? Well, we have our main farm, of course. We do have this whole area here, so we need to figure that out. I shopped there because I got store deliveries turned on. <laughs> and then we've got a couple fields here. 57 and 56 are going to be our crop fields. And then I've got 54 and 107 as our grass fields. Uh, we will end up buying field 52 as well uh, once we get down the line. So let's grab our combine. Fun part with this one is it's gonna be a bit tricky getting this out of here because I don't actually remember how I got it in. I think this should work. I need to come out just a little bit. Oh, that, the poor four-wheeler. I didn't, I didn't do that. Totally wasn't me. <laughs> Where's my header? I think it's around here, around the corner. Uh, you can see I've chosen some pretty um, wrong, uh, that is the best word I've got for it. I've chosen the wrong equipment for this map. I should have gone for some smaller stuff, but I was like, you know what? 
Let's go with medium equipment and see how that works. It didn't. It's not. It's not working. Uh, most of my stuff doesn't even fit, which I guess is fine, but it's, it's just so bad. And then we get around here where we have our header and a real big field. We'll drop that there. I was going to go with a John Deere Cedar, and I did have one picked out. Unfortunately, the John Deere Cedar was just a wee bit too big for the map itself. So now we've got this. Let's go ahead and unfold our harvester. And we also want to make sure that straw swath is enabled. So we have to turn on a few things here. Disable straw swath. That is on. Perfect. Anything else I need to do? I don't think so. Other than, of course, make it fast. I mean, <laughs> of course we're going to go fast. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to do all of this. So we'll just start it here and work our way around. So we have two fields of wheat. And then everything else is going to be grass. So at least probably today we will try and handle these wheat fields. Let's see what we can get into here. Uh, I do want to utilize as much of the map as possible. So utilizing what the map offers, whether that's going to be different production chains or maybe different crops, things like that. I would love to plan in some new crops. I know we've got some different stuff for this map. I also want to make sure that I keep things as well, like the straw, for example. We're going to have to bail this up. Uh, we've also got the grass, which is going to be turned into silage, things like that. We want to make sure that we hang on to that stuff. Uh, I will probably return to Valley of the Old Farm, but hey, since this is out, we've all, we've all been looking forward to this map. At least I have, so I wanted to play on it just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, Finish up a couple headlands. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into here. So now I've run a couple headlands around the field and we've got 28,000 liters in here, which is pretty good. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to cut this field. Uh, I think what I might do is just follow the marks in the bottom right here. And I may just hire a worker and let them just go. And we'll just cut straight through the field and, and then figure it out from there. Because <laughs> I know the worker will do at least this part. So... Well, that's good. Um, normally I start on one end or the side or something like that, but yep, I think for this one, we're just gonna go straight down the middle. Not bad though, not bad. And it looks like the worker has decided to go to the left side. So uh, well, I guess we'll hit this part and then we'll rehire him up on the top. In the meantime, let's go get two things. Let's go get a tipper just in case we need it. I don't think we will. But just in case. And let's also get a baler. Because I want to start working on that. First things first, the baler. Let's take the John Deere 5115. Love this guy. And let's see if we could drive around here and find our baler. I do believe it's in there. Yep, there it is. So we will bring this around. Back up to it. Uh, this got, I think, four reverse gears. And it always goes through one, two, three, four. It quite literally goes through all of them. Can we get it? Nope, not quite. Got it. Ooh, no, no uh, pickup sound. This might be a little bit big for for this tractor. I think it. I think it might just be a little bit too big. I'm sure it'll work fine. Maybe let's swap this tractor out. This is more like it. We got the big one. Well, almost the big one. The 6R. Love this tractor. One of my favorite tractors. This is the 6R. This, uh, yeah, I think this is just a little bit more appropriate. <laughs> this sizing, it works just a wee bit better. Uh, let's see. It looks like our harvester is going to be coming through, maybe getting close to the last little bit here. We'll let him finish this up. And I guess, I guess I could just go ahead and start going through here, huh? Let's turn this on and figure out exactly what we've got. So we have turn off automatic drop, turn on baler. That's definitely something we want. And we have our bell sizes. Currently, we're on 180, and that's exactly what we want as well. The biggest round bells possible. Turn it on, drop it down, and go. Now, one of the uh, good things about this baler, at least, is it will kind of figure out how fast it needs to go, and then let me go that fast. As you can see, it's taken off. I am not using any fast farming mods, nothing like that. Uh, I've shown this off quite a few times. So bloop. <laughs> uh, but it keeps going. And there, bloop, bloop, done. <laughs> As the workers are not always the brightest tool in the shed, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this up for them. I'm actually going to drop the straw into this straw swath. Ba-boom. Right there, just like that. 
That way I don't have to come back through and pick up anything extra. And now we can take this and drop him off. Taking a look, we have 45,000 liters now, so we're about 45% full on here. I don't think we're gonna fill this thing up. We might, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know, I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? <laughs> Hire worker. Figured to end it out, I'd just come in here and take care of it myself. It's a whole lot easier just to do that. Boom, boom, got it. So out of this field, we got 80,793 liters of wheat. I believe we have another field around here somewhere. Aha! Down there. How do I get in there? So there is a way in, but I don't know if there's collisions or not. Oh, there are no collisions. Well, <laughs> how's about that? We'll go ahead and pop the pipe out because I am going to have to unload soon, I think. In the meantime, let's get back in here and let's... Boop! <laughs> let's get the rest of this straw picked up and bailed up. And then we got to figure out exactly what we're going to be doing with it. Pretty sure some of this is going to be sold. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We've, we've already spent quite a bit of money on our uh, helper. So we'll see what happens. There's the end of it right there. So we've got uh, 3,700 liters of straw in here. I guess we can go ahead and fold that up. We made quite a few bills as well. How many bills did we make? 30. Holy cow. That's a pretty good amount of bills off of this field. I see another thing as well as Oxygen David maps. Whenever you're playing on them, they just, I don't know, they feel smaller than they actually are. And because they feel smaller than they actually are, it it's like, oh, I got a lot. Right? Yeah. Is that awkward? That felt awkward. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some more work done. So the time has come. We are going to have to get over there and do a little bit of carting because I've filled it up, basically. Let's go through here. Let's swing out through here. I'm not sure I would want to be going 27 miles an hour through here in real life. But you know what? In the game, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Combine Harvester's around here somewhere, too. I think he's on the other side of that wall. Maybe down there? He's definitely down there. Let's hook up to it. So we've got our Cueco right here and our blacked out John Deere with the green stripe on it, which is very different, very interesting, and much, much cooler then I was expecting it to look really happy and really excited that this turned out as well as it actually did. All right, now I just gotta figure out how in the world to get down in there. I know I could, uh, I know I could go here and then we could turn right there. And I know that this goes down in there. Wow, oh, that is, this is an animal pen. <laughs> is that for my sheep? I think that's for my sheep. So this comes out at a totally different spot on our farm, which I need to figure out. Well, well, where? Boop. At least for now, there's that. And our silo is straight ahead as well. I don't actually know how much our silo can hold or anything like that. 800,000 liters. It's not too bad. I wonder... Can we delete this? No. No, we can't. Hmm. So my idea originally was going to be... All right, well, let's just take the setup there. There we go. And good. All right. He could do the rest of this on his own. I believe in him. <laughs> I was going to take our silo and put an extension on it, but maybe, just maybe, for all the cheating that I'm used to normally doing, maybe we don't do that this time around. Maybe I just take this, drop it off in here, like a good boy, like that, and don't cause too many problems. I think maybe that's what we'll do. There's that. Good, good, good. All right, I'll back this out of here. We will bring this, oh, that is, oh, best backwards driver in farm sim, best backwards driver in farm sim, oh, yeah. After it's all said and done, we've gotten 12,800 extra liters off of this field, uh, which I'm not quite sure what that brings us to, but uh, I think we've done okay. Go and get that dumped down. Perfect. And now we need to find our header trailer and put all of this away. And of course, I'm going to cheat it and go straight across through here and now for the end of this field anyway uh what i've done is i've kind of hit a, a weird little setup i'm doing things much different this uh this series than i normally do things especially uh maybe not so much with the combine harvesting but oh boy there we go yep drop that off pop that in the back there we go yeah that's that's definitely different as well <laughs> So we'll finish up heading around, picking up all of these, and we'll find out how many bills we've gotten. So we're at 36, now there is 37 on the field. We'll probably get, I don't know, close to 40. Just a guess, though. 
Just a guess. And now we are done. 41 bales have been done. Now I've got to figure out where in the world am I going to put all of them? Because now that I have them, I'm not quite sure. Oh, I, uh, I did not crash. That was not me. I'm not sure who that was. But it certainly wasn't me that crashed right through there. Let's go ahead and put a few of these things back, at least that we don't have to worry about things anymore. And we may end up using this tractor for the uh, bell pickup, which I think I will do. Probably make things very easy. Back this in, nice and easy. I used the, five, uh, the 5M the last time I did this. So this should work okay. Easy does it. Right in, bam. Tell you what, K-Bot wishes that he, 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 I'm not sure what K-Bot is. It's an it. Uh, <laughs> wishes it was that good, yeah. Also was able to back this thing in here as well. Got it. I don't know how many this holds, but I guess we'll find out here momentarily. Stick it into operating position and, oh, I forgot it. Picks them up and like puts them on the side real weird like. It does stack them up very neatly, which at least there's that, but yeah, it would be cool if they were, I don't know, in a little row or a line or something. Nonetheless, uh, I believe this is the exact same bell trailer that I'm using over on Valley of the Old Farm, so hopefully whenever we put them down, they'll act exactly the same as they do there. Boop, 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 boop. Just a couple more. So here we go. 24 bales. And again, I will reiterate, I have no idea where I'm going to put these. Should we find a good spot? Should we take them over to the campground and store them there? Uh, probably be funny, but we might get in a little bit of trouble with the locals. So let's see. Is there anywhere else we can store them? I know around our main farm is basically a no-go. This entire area in front of us is going to turn into... A big old field and, and so I don't really want to store the straw bales there I I'm really tempted to just put them up here for now I think that's what I'm gonna do there you go let's go ahead and do this we'll bring them up yeah this is this is the way this is gonna happen sorry guys I know you're probably mad that all these bells are gonna be everywhere but you're just gonna have to get over it let's go ahead and click the unload trigger we'll bring them down here drop them right there boom all right we got a bunch more to go pick up so let's go get them here's the rest of the bales that we've got one thing i am going to do before we get even close we're going to jump back into transporting mode because if we get too close to those bales it's just gonna start bouncing all right easy does it one thing i've noticed maybe it's just me maybe i've been playing on a laptop for too long during this trip or whatever but uh boop. there we go uh I almost feel like none of the brakes work very well. Maybe this is just something on my end? Maybe this is a setting I could change? Hey, uh, any help would be super cool. If anybody knows anything that, oh boy, that might help out a little bit. So we'll put this here for now, and then we need to get this. Now, before we do anything, I want to see wheat. Okay, we've got a good amount here. Uh, we've got a lot of places to take it. However, we do have grain mill, and I think this is going to be the uh, the place that we go. Grain mill should be good. Uh, I don't believe we have any production chains to start with. Nope, but we do want grain mill. So let's, uh, oh, you know what? We could do even better if we did like barley or oats in the next setup. We could do barley in all the fields the next time around and then sell both of them. Ooh, yeah, that, that, that may be what we do. I'm not, I'm not quite sure I'm going to sell anything today. We may wait on that one. Yeah, let's let's do that. We'll go ahead and dump this in here, though. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and back in here and get our Seder. I think we can do this with the... Oh. Do you see how much weight transfer is there? I think we need a weight. Let's see if this helps. Uh, I think it helped a little bit. I'm not having any trouble controlling it, which makes things nice. It's just a little bit interesting, that's all. We'll go ahead and bring this out. Let's select barley on here because I wanted to do uh, weed it. We'll do barley as well and then hopefully start making a little bit of cash money. So let's uh, let's run a few. Oh, 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 spin around, spin around, spin around. There you go. Uh, <laughs> let's run a couple lines around here, maybe two. Uh, I have also done something a little bit different than I normally do. This will seed and fertilize both at the same time. 
Normally, I use stuff that only seeds and then I use the fertilizer later on. However, I've decided to uh, do this and then in the second growth stage or first growth stage, whichever, uh, whichever works best for us, we will then come through and fertilize. We got that big sprayer. I plan on utilizing it. It's gonna be a lot of fun using that as well. Uh, but at least for now, we could do this and we can go and get some more crops in the ground. Another thing, so we are gonna have to do some baling and mowing, not in that particular order, but uh, we're gonna have to get all of that done as well. So that will be in the next episode, which will be a lot of fun. I love doing grass work. So we're gonna do two fields of grass. As a matter of fact, we could show you guys which one we're doing. 54 and 107. Oh, how much is this? 203,000. It's a little bit out of my budget right now, but eventually we will get in there and buy that. That way we'll have quite a few grass fields. And uh, yeah, it'll be a few months after that before we could do this. Hopefully this will be before the end of the year. It is August right now. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully this will grow in about four or five months. Uh, I utilize a different uh, growth system in Farming Simulator. It's called the, uh, let's see how little time it takes before it grows. Yeah, a lot of you guys know how to do it. Then now that that is done, we will hire dude up on a worker and let him do his thing. Rocking and rolling through here. Again, two fields to do that. We'll jump over here real quick just to show you where our mowers are gonna go and uh, how much fun we're gonna have for that. It's gonna be a good time. Also, we need to get this front part plowed up as well. We need to get something planted in there. I'm guessing a regular crop. I don't think grass is gonna work in that field. I mean, it will, obviously it's, it's there now and it actually may be a good idea to mow that up so we can get a little extra grass. You know what? That's a great idea. I just came up with that all by myself, but we're not going to do it today. So uh, tune in next time for, uh, well, I guess, episode number two. Today is going to be a mowing day. We have three fields to mow, two of which uh, are actually pretty normal, 54 and 107. However, we also have this whole area right here, which I don't really know how it's going to go. So, uh, we're gonna do that first. And we're gonna be using this guy right here. So I've got Cavernlin mowers on the front and the back. However, I have painted them red, red, <laughs> don't say that out loud, a green and yellow. Uh, we're also using our John Deere 7R. Love this thing very, very much. So let's pull up our stuff and give it a little unfold right through here. We'll also go ahead and do that, ba-boom. Ba boom uh, we do have a windrow that we're going to be using so hopefully we won't miss too much and we're going to be bailing all of it up and either doing silage or hay i think for uh this time around it is going to be a silage bale kind of day now are we getting any grass off of it uh that would be a negatory good buddy so we're just gonna go ahead and stop that now that was a waste of time now here's the fun part because i've got to be able to get through this entire farmyard without hitting anything. Oh, it's so close. Fortunately, the bowers aren't too big on the back. I think I turned right here. Yes, this is working. This is working. And then I think one field is off to our left here. Oh, I am really high in the sky. There we go. Uh, please open the right way. Yes, thank goodness it opened the right way. Let's go through here. And then here, this will bring us into our first field. Oh yeah, let's, oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if I could do this. I'm gonna try and do this in first person. Okay, we got a little bit of room to move there. Bring it here, swing it wide. Oh, I'm trying to do this in first person because I really wanna have a little bit of fun. The, uh, the map itself leads to some very nice um, first person farming, if you will, at least getting around in the farmyard. But I don't know if the equipment that I've chosen is a little bit too big to get into these fields. It it bounced. It did. It, it bounced a little bit off a few of the things. But you know what? We made it in here and we're good to go. So now I just got to figure out how I'm going to do all of this. Let's see. Let's go ahead and bring that out, bring it down, bring it out, bring it down. Maybe start like right here. That could work. Uh, I am going to miss a little bit on the outside. There's just no way around that, unfortunately, at least the first time around. What I'll probably do is just try and get as close as I can with the outside of the big part of the mower, and then we'll come back through a second time. And then from there, it's just a back and forth game. 
Oh, swing it. There we go. Very good. Very good. I will have to come through and spray this, but unfortunately only once and that'll be good to go. So not bad. Yo, and I like the greenness to this. Uh, obviously the ground is a little bit different, but once you've mown it, it's this really bright color. Kind of reminds me of Oxygen David Maps back in Farming Simulator 17 a little bit. I think we saw something similar to this in 19 as well, but uh, yeah, I'm getting some serious Farm Sim 17 vibes right now. And you know what? I'm pretty okay with it. As I have mentioned before, I am gonna be buying that field down there, but I wanted to give myself a little bit of room to grow and a little bit of room to, uh, well, need money. Right now we got about $95,000. Uh, I have replaced one piece of equipment since the last time that we saw you guys, but uh, I don't know when this video is gonna go out. And I can't show that piece of equipment depending on what day it is. So uh, we may just have to do that the next episode. Either way, uh, I am enjoying Court Farms very, very much so. Uh, and again, I've had quite a few people asking me, what you guys have seen on screen is the most I've played. Uh, I just have not had the time nor the, uh, uh, the ability to play anymore because I've been so busy with so much other stuff going on right now in Farm Sim and, and uh, just in my life in general. So everything that you guys are seeing uh, is my experience with the map. So you're seeing maybe things for the first time like I am. All right, I'm gonna hit this weird second headland throughout and then I'll show you how I do the rest of it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to hire a worker on this or not. Uh, we may end up just having to do this entire field ourselves and that's okay. Now that that is all done, let me show you how I'm gonna do this. I think I need to find the longest edge, which is gonna be down here. Although I could probably go and hit at least one little shoot across through here. I think that'll be okay, but we are going to uh, solidify on this straight edge right down here. Uh, one thing about this, I do believe it has multi-terrain angle or MTA. Uh, so if you are, well, on PC, I'm sure the console version will not have MTA, uh, but you never know. What I would love to do is put this right here and hire a worker. Um, but it is unfortunately gonna send it down a little path that may not line up exact. However, that's pretty good. It's not bad. We're gonna miss a little bit right here, but that's fine. Uh, we will uh, adjust and overcome and adapt. Ba bam got it. All right, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. We will do that one way around and then it'll be time to finally come through and do all of this ourselves. So now I've run around this field one time. It is a much larger field than I was expecting it to be, but the good thing is it's fairly easy to hire a worker on it. So let's bring this right here, bring it forward, hire a worker. This should theoretically do this entire field for us. Again, we are in not that field, this one. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, I knew where we were the whole time. While he does that, we are going to be jumping in here in this John Deere 5115 or 5115. I actually don't know how to how to pronounce that. Very, very good looking stuff through here. We should have a, uh, oh, there it is. Let's see if we can back up to this. I'm really loving doing the first person stuff. I know I mentioned that once already in this video, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep mentioning it until, until we get it across. Got it, got the Kubota. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Swing it wide through there. Yes, very good. And now this is gonna be, ooh, don't go too fast. Come on, DJ. I know you're a speed demon, but you can't do it through here. Made it, made it. Bring it in through here. Oh, I love this. Honestly, like off screen, this is kind of the way I farm. You probably think that I'm just using crap. Uh, you probably think I'm using just absolutely massive pieces of equipment and, uh, well, uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm just, uh, playing, having fun. Can we swing this? Yeah, we got it. Um, just kind of playing, having fun, using a little bit smaller equipment. Yo, isn't there another way through, like, in, I think there's a pathway down through here somewhere. Is it this pathway? Does it lead all the way down to the bottom to the opening? I'm fairly positive that it does. Sure does, doesn't it? Yeah, that's way easier. Man. Well, what are you gonna do? We'll just go go ahead, do this the long way, and then at least for the next time, we know 
we don't have to do this. Nice, got it through. Breathe through just a little bit more and go ahead and unfold it. And while we do that, we will close the gate. Sweet. Now I gotta get all this done. Uh, and I haven't really thought much about it. Let's bring this here. We will turn it on. We will engage fast farming. I don't know if there's any things that I can do. You know what? I think this is probably gonna be more than enough the way that it sits. So we will we will just do a single pass around and just leave it be. Yeah, but it's working. It's working really well. I, I, seeing Kubota in green is awkward, but otherwise very good. Very good. So check this out. Dude is doing real well. I'm almost a little bit shocked that a worker's done okay. <laughs> Welcome to 2023. All right, we'll go ahead and turn this back on. I'm still trying to go through and hit the outside lines here, but I do have to wait just a little bit on Dude Man Bro right here. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. But this all is working really well. This uh, 5 Series doing super, super good through here. And the mower is absolutely killing it. Really good. I, I, I knew they make a version of the mower that's got... All right. There's no way I'm going to have a worker hit that spot right there. Yay! Got it. And then let's just lower the back mowers down and turn them on just to hit this little spot. Boop. Just like so. Got it. All right. So now there is a different way, I think, into the other field. I could easily cheese this. But I think instead of doing that, we're going to go on a little bit of a journey down to the bottom of this field where we can hit a spot and then come around the other way. So there should be an opening here. There is. This is good. Oh, we're going a little bit fast. Oh, by the way, uh, finish seeding all the fields. Since you guys have been around. They have been fertilized once, but as soon as we come through, we are going to have to spray them again. So be ready for that. Now this, I believe, yay, uh, is straight through here. Yeah. I don't know if there's any other way into this field, but I know that this way works. So there's that. We'll go and open up the gate. It opens toward the inside, which is totally fine. Hopefully it opens wide enough. Ooh, it's going to be close. I think we bumped. I'm not sure if we bumped or not. Maybe we didn't. Man, this thing looks just so good. All right, so this is going to be the exact same thing here. I might... Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Finish that or hit this. Oh, decisions. All right, I made my decision, and it was actually made fairly easily. Uh, I'm going to hit this spot first because I can hire a worker on this and the tether I would much rather do myself because it will be much easier in the long run. And one thing I am curious about is these poles in the middle of the field, are they solid? Am I gonna hit it and be mad? Or are they fine and can I just go around them? I guess we'll find out soon enough, but it may not be this little spot. Oh, I could have driven straight across, darn. Well, that actually makes things easy going forward. Because if we're going to buy this field to the left of us, well, in that case, all of these will be grass fields. We'll just mow one after the other after the other. We'll have two ways into all of them, and it'll work perfect. Yes! Never mind. Turns out there's actually quite a few ways into this field, and I just chose the most difficult one. <laughs> yeah, that's 100% on me. Uh, but the good thing is, we've almost finished one pass around this field. Uh, we'll do the, the weird little pass where I hit all the bits I missed. And then we'll do it all again. Um, again, these are, I guess, today the only two grass fields that we're doing. Because that other one just didn't work. And I guess that's okay. Just hired a worker, and I'm going to see what happens here. Probably going to stop and raise up, yeah, that mower. But they are going to continue going, at least till they have to. One thing I've noticed is whenever they drop down one mower, but raise the other, they always go super duper slowly. And it's so annoying. You know what? While they do their thing, I'm gonna come over here and see if this thing's actually solid or not. Please go through. Crap. So this is fun. Uh, my character just glitched, and and now I'm the the normal uh, character. Uh, wardrobe. Man. Rabble. I gotta do the whole thing again. Where's my mohawk? Now there's my dude. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Trying to get this to look 
good, but not be completely overboard. And I would say that I have done a fairly decent job. I'm quite happy with myself. We'll go ahead and hire the worker up right there. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Good to go, I think. I really hope. Really, really hope. All right, where's dude at? Here he is. Let's rock and roll. Uh, this is all pretty much having to be done by myself just because of what I've uh, left sitting around, at least here on the left-hand side. I may try and bring this in a little bit, but I don't know how that's gonna work and turn it off. Also, because of uh, where everything is through here, I might uh, stop it. There we go, perfect. Uh, I might not be able to hire a worker at all, and if I do, I'm probably gonna have to babysit him the entire time. Uh, so like right here, bring it up, there we go, hire a worker. Hopefully it's straight-ish enough. So coming through, nice, nice, doing good, doing good. Keep it straight enough that uh, they get right to the end and then fire the worker immediately. Bam, fired. Ha ha ha. I think I could, I think I can make this happen. I, I think I can make a job out of this. There we go, hire worker, and then we'll do it again. <laughs> Last little bit through here, I have ended up having to come through and take away some of the other stuff around there we go turn that off uh looks like our mower is hitting a few last little spots here and there and then they'll be good i'm totally gonna cheat driving straight through and then we'll do this again we're gonna be making silage bells they will take us a little bit of time to do and i have decided as well instead of trying to spend all this time and effort in cattle at least to start with i'm gonna spend all the time and effort making money from the silage and the straw that we get so we are also gonna have to find a way to deliver some straw bells maybe we'll do that today maybe we'll do that in the next one either way it is happening. Almost finished up. Now we've got this area here left. I think I'm gonna end up ruining the headlands I made around. There we go, we'll do that. And then hire a worker. Hopefully it hits these spots. Oh yeah, we missed. We missed just a little bit, but I think that'll be okay. And then it's definitely gonna take out part of this. Oh yeah, yes it did. <laughs> well, I'll just have to remember to skip that part. Whatever, I come back. Probably won't have to, won't have to worry about that too much. There we go, and fire worker, and spin around and do it again. And this is going to be the uh, the final setup for us, at least for the grass today. This is the last bit. This is it right here. We'll hit this, and then we will be all done, at least with merging, windrowing, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna be done with it. We could take this and go pack it up. We should probably slow down a little bit though because this farmyard is dangerous. Best backwards driver in farm sim. You got nothing clutch. You got nothing. And now for the final act. Bailing. Oh, I love this part. This is one of my favorite parts. So we are going to head in. Uh, we may do this backwards. I say backwards. God, that looks awful. We're definitely gonna have to plow that up in the next one. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and unfold this. I believe I have, is it black wrap on here? Oh, I don't even remember what cut. Yeah, so there's black wrap on here. I think that looks pretty cool. So we'll leave it and see what happens. Drop it down and turn it on. Yes, so grass going through, going in. I don't believe we've got fast farming enabled on this either. No, so uh, this is just the faster fast bail uh, the way that it works. And then we should come through here and we should see it wrap fairly quickly. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> and that is why Mark Thor is one of my favorite modders because he makes some absolutely insane stuff that I just, well, I just love so much. <laughs> oh, speaking of, I think he sent me a modified version of this tractor. Oops. <laughs> Forgot to download that, but Mark, I'll, I'll get it for the next one. I promise, man. I promise. All right. Uh, let's get through here. Let's see how we can do. We've already made quite a few bells. As a matter of fact, I forgot to reset my bell thing. Let's see. Reset bell counter. There we go. We made one, two, three so far. So let's see how many we can make off of this field. Hey, I got an accomplishment. What's in the bell? <laughs> hey, that's a wrap. Uh, we're doing okay. So it says 37, which means we've done 
40 bills already on this field. Doesn't look like it, to be fair. But, I mean, we are rocking and rolling, pushing through just fine. Boop. There's another one. That's 41. And, and we're going to have a lot of silage, man. A whole lot of silage. These usually take one day in game, so it won't be too bad to, uh, by 1 p.m. tomorrow in game in September. We should be just fine. We'll go ahead and turn this off, speed it up just a little bit to catch up to. Here we go. And we'll hit this last spot. Cool. So that is that. Uh, I might drive through Dude's Field right here just to get to my other one. Oh, normally I don't care about driving over the other people's crops. Don't have access to this lane. I'm aware. Thought I'd turn that off. Is it sitting there trying to bail all of this? What a, just good job, bud. Good job. All right. Well, let's, let's hit these weird little bits in the middle. Like this guy. There we go. We'll hit this and then we'll go up to the top and actually do this the appropriate way. And the last pass down. Man, oh man. There were a couple little spots that I missed here and there, so I'm going to pick those up. Uh, we will go ahead and complete this bill so it doesn't just sit in here and do nothing. Uh, eh, birds. What's up, birds? Uh, so this will be easy. It says 73 now. We're going to make one more. So 74 plus 3, 77. 77 bales. Absolutely ridiculous. There we go. Pop that. Oh, yeah, I got to turn it on so that it kicks back. And then we will... Select grass. There we go. So I always cheat that last bell. You guys know I've been doing it for years and it ain't gonna stop. So uh yeah, you may have to just deal with it. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh let's see. Did I leave this gate open? I did. So we'll go ahead and take this gate. We will put everything back away, and we need to collect these bells before we do cool uh we need to collect these bells before we take off otherwise they're just gonna be sitting in the field and i don't want to leave the job undone so we've got a few uh little spots right here <laughs> that have been putting the bells of course i put them in here but i did make sure to put them at least far enough away from our straw bells to matter uh because well these are gonna have to turn into chaff or silage rather they're grass right now put it there and then Scoot it a little closer, not too close, just, you know, a little bit, little bit close. Bam, got it. And then I think we've got a few more, so definitely not as many straw bells. But we do have a couple more down here. I think there's five, something like that. And then that'll quite literally be it, at least for now. We're going to take a look at uh, what we're planning to do in the next one. We're also going to take a look at some crop prices to see how we're going to uh, fare with that. Boop, ba -doop, and boop. There you go. That is all of the bells. At least I think that's all the bells. Please be all the bells. I have no idea. Um, again, this field that we're driving through right now, this is going to be plowed up and we are going to plant something here. Probably a regular crop. We'll we'll see what happens with that. Now, uh, of course, straw is going to be sold. Silage is going to be sold. So all of that we don't have to worry about. Put this right here. Yep. Set it to do this and plop. Got it. <sighs> Tell you what, <laughs> I'm exhausted. We're just sitting here playing a game having fun, and I'm exhausted. This has been such a fun episode to do. I love doing grass work. You guys know I love doing grass work, and it's been an absolute epic time doing it. So, we're going to call it for there, and... Oh, yeah, prices. Let's take a look real quick. That is the store twice. Good job, DJ. Uh, so in here we have over 100,000 liters of wheat. We are going to take that to the grain mill eventually. However, right now we have barley in the ground. Uh, we will be harvesting that probably in uh, one to two episodes, somewhere around there. And then after that, I do want to get into some of the new crops. Got to find those. We have alfalfa, field bean, rye, seed, stuff like that. I would love to do something with the new crops. Have a little bit of fun, try them out, <laughs> be a, that'll be a good time. Today we are going to be getting some plowing done. We've got this field right here, the big one we've been talking about this one for a hot minute, but today it is over. We're going to plow it up and we are going to plant something in it. Just don't know what yet. And then we are going to fertilize the grass fields that we harvested last time. So if you missed that, Definitely go check that out. To get our job done today, we are going to be using this, the John Deere 185 6R. Now this 
is actually a little bit of a special version. You can see down at the bottom right hand corner, uh, it goes a little bit faster now and it actually breaks, which is just phenomenal. It's also a very loud tractor at that. So may have to back up just a little bit. I've got a plow around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Also, uh, this is what I was hiding in the last update here, the last video. Um, I recorded this kind of early, so I actually had my horse stuff in here, and I'm already on the next version of the game, so I was like, well, I'll put it in and not worry about it too much. I think it's a... Aha! The plow. We shall have this. Thank you very much. And we will also use that cedar today, which is going to be very cool. Uh, I am probably going to swap out some of the stuff here for uh, horse equipment. Just, you know, might as well, right? Very good stuff. We will do that. Okay. I, I just hit the... I'm so glad that didn't detach. I just hit the A button like I was trying to drift in. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's take this and we are going to plow it up. I may even put down bushes. As a matter of fact, I should have done that before I started plowing. Maybe I won't put down bushes. Maybe that's a little bit easier way to not to, not to do that. Come through here, just like that. Da, 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 da. Uh, one thing that I may end up doing is doing barley in here. Since we are going to come through and do barley uh, on the big fields, I think, well, may as well go ahead and do barley here as well. Grass seems to be working okay, and the next purchase is definitely going to be one of the other fields. So uh, we should have a barley field right beside the main road. And then after that, we can start using some of the new crops that we've gotten. Love the map. Absolutely beautiful. Again, all of my time on this map has been in front of you guys. I've done nothing off screen uh, other than a little bit of planting two episodes ago. But that was quite literally it. So let's get all of this plowed up. And then we will need to... Uh, I don't think we need to prepare the seabed. We're just going to direct drill barley straight in with some fertilizer and be done with it. Yeah. Last little bit and then we are done. Boom. Boom. Kapow! Yo, there's a, a lot of stuff that I'm not able to do recently. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's just the uh, the new game update, something like that. I'm not quite sure, but uh, anyway, let's drop that off. And now let's go get the new toy. Let's go get a new planter. And just to be that guy, I'm going to back up the entire way so that Clutch knows who's boss and that K-Bot runs in fear. And that's exactly why I'm doing it. Trucker Matsy, stay out of it. <laughs> Got it! All right, so we have fertilizer in here. We are going to swap this over to barley. There we go. We'll double check and make sure we get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's definitely barley. We'll take this. Uh, I was going to go for one of the smaller uh, horse planters, but I was like, you know what? You know what would be super funny? If I didn't do that. So I didn't do that. <laughs> I figured it would be much better off if I just went with the largest one and then, well, went with the largest one. Come on, I mean, there, there are, if, if we're, if we're very fortunate, there are some good options in here, and there's there's actually quite a few really cool things, like we got a cultivator that will seed, turning it into a direct drill, literally. Um, I was going to go with the Pronto 60C, but, like, what's the, what's the fun in that? Whenever I could just get the biggest one right here and use this. I mean, the fields are big enough. One thing I will say about Oxygen David Maps, the fields. They are huge in comparison. This map, eh, not so much, but it's still a lot of fun to play on, man. Still a lot of fun to play on. All right, uh, we have a little bit of work to do, but oh, a plant get a knob. Little help can go a long way. Yeah, oh, just a sprinkle. You have to think about the future. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Is that fertilizer? I think that's fertilizer. Oh, uh, I'm so confused. Giants, why do, you, why do you do this to me? And very quickly, we are done with this. So that works for us. Uh, one thing that we need to do now is going to be fertilize the grass fields. We've got a sprayer to do that around here somewhere. Uh, one thing I'm going to try to do is use the 5M for spraying. I don't know if the 5 Series is going to work for spraying or not. We may end up having to use the 6 which is fine. Uh, I did download the version that Mark Thor sent over, by the way. I think I said that already, but uh, it, it did do that. Oh, best backwards driver in Farm Sim. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's put this in here, which is uh, totally a shed and not a silo. 
It's totally not a silo. <clears throat> it's a silo. All right, let's get this thing. Where is our sprayer? There it is. I made the mistake of coming in here. Uh, definitely should not have done that, but whatever. I did get the smallest one at least, so uh, this is not a huge sprayer by any means, at least uh, compared to what I would normally use. It doesn't look that bad on the back of this, actually. It looks pretty good. Uh, we are going to cheat in some liquid fertilizer because that's exactly how I roll. And then we need to find our way out to the grass field, which should be out this way. Uh, and of course, we will have to get into the fertilizer on the main fields whenever the next growth stage is, which will be tomorrow in game, which is also nice because we're we're gonna see that today. <laughs> At least in this episode, we will. Open it up. Oh, we are over that just a little bit. Let's go ahead and bring this back in. Oh boy, it's gonna get stuck. It's gonna get stuck. It's gonna get stuck. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely got stuck. It is, a, it is a wild one for sure. I gotta be careful with this thing. It is the sea and spray. Uh, which is great. Uh, I'm not using precision farming, so, you know, all good there. No biggie. But I just want to make sure that we're, we're hitting all this and doing it the correct way. There's through there. And swing it out. Yeah. <laughs> love that, man. I love that. Uh, yeah, I did go with the smallest sprayer. I figured that would be, at least for this farm, more than adequate. Especially for how big these fields are. As a matter of fact, we could probably get away with not using a sprayer at all and just using solid fertilizer. But there's zero fun in that. This, we can hit everything and get stuck. Sweet. One field down, one to go. I've actually had uh, zero issues at all. That was really weird. I didn't even get stuck on the pole. I don't know what just happened, but it was pretty cool. <laughs> all right, we'll come through here. We'll, we'll uh, cheese it just a little bit through there. No biggie, no biggie. I wonder if I can delete these hedges. I don't think you can because they technically don't exist. But maybe, just maybe, let's go and raise this up so I can go over that. Look at that. Oh, that's too good, man. Too good. And spin it back here and drop it back down. Nice. I'm so good at this. And just like that, we're kind of done with all of this already. Now, of course, in the uh, in tomorrow in game, we are going to need to spray. So, we'll, oh, you know what? I should definitely just go out down here. Uh, I definitely want to keep this close by and we don't want to get rid of it. We've got three fills that are going to need to be sprayed tomorrow. Uh, and the first one is quite literally right in front of us. So I'm just going to turn that off and we'll head back up. And bales? No. Can't sell the bales yet. Not today. We'll have to do that tomorrow in game. So let's find our way back to the house and get some rest. And I'm going to keep you here with me because I want to show you guys just all the way up. I know I'm running like a madman right now through all this. But I want to show you back to the main farm. All the way back. Oh, it's a little low. There we go. That feels better. Uh, I want to show you this farmhouse. We've, we've looked at it before. But it's just incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, somebody left the door open. Don't know who that was. <whistles> definitely me. It's definitely me. I, I think the bedroom's through here. Yes. The bedroom. Actually, this is where you, yeah, sleep. Let's go to sleep till 9 a.m. That feels right. Okay, and here we are. Do we have some growth? Oh, we do. Let's head down here. We'll head out the door. And let's take a look at what we've got. So barley is not only in, but it is growing. It is looking good. We've got a 75% yield bonus right now, uh, but I wanna make that a little bit better. So let's head down to the 5M and make that better. There she is looking all good. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We'll pull forward. I shouldn't be destroying any crop. No, we're good. I think I turned crop destruction off anyway. I was a little bit worried about this map and, and being able to get in and out of spaces. So I think I just <laughs> said, you know what, let's just turn it off. Uh, it looks like it's going to rain soon. How soon are we talking? Looks like we might be able to get into the middle of the day. So that might be more beneficial to start spraying then, as it is definitely a little bit dark right now. Plus, at 1300... We could sell those silage bells. That's a little bit better now. Not too bad. We'll go and jump in here and start spraying. 
Uh, barley is definitely difficult to see where the spray is. I, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a really rough time. I, I kind of wish that I had precision farming turned on right now. That would actually make this a whole lot easier. Oh, bring it around. There we go. Good. Man, the field next to us is going to be absolutely painful to be able to do because there's just no way to see down into the field. Might be able to... Oh, oh that's tree. Stuck on a tree. Stuck on another tree. Stuck on fourth tree. Uh -huh, but not the fifth. I'm trying to see down in there, but I just physically can't see where I've been, what I'm spraying, or anything like that. Oh, it's difficult. Oh, I think actually maybe I could see a little bit, but I think the best thing for me to do might be just overlap, know I'm overlapping, waste the spray, and just be done with it. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I feel like I'm done, but I don't know. Moment of truth, how do we do? Oh, actually not too bad. I, I mowed a lot around the outside, but uh, uh, yeah, not bad. Let's see, can I hit that little spot? I do want to do that. Let's see, we'll go ahead and turn this on. Oh no! Oh no! It's this way! Did we hit it? Yeah, we hit it, all right! Uh, now this field's going to be much, much more difficult. So let's start the spray here, and then we will go all the way around and I may end up just hiring a worker because this one is going to be so tough. It's not even funny. So I hired a worker, we will see how they do. I t they are off in someone else's field right now. So that's just absolutely wonderful. Let's head out there because I wanna see something. That is not the right way to go. I really gotta learn my way around this farm. Uh, I saw another farm and I wanna go look at it because the farms look awesome on this map. And he's doing just fine. It's up here. Now, I again have only seen one or uh, one farm really. The one that we are on right now. So this is all brand new to me, but I'd love to take a look at it and check it out. It does look good. It's not super duper tight like the farm that we're in right now. Uh, the buildings, like this one, much higher. Is there anything, is this like a silage pit or something? Nope, that's just a building. Very cool, all right. You know, uh, DJ Goham like it. 218,309. Ooh, but this one comes with a field and a silo. Uh, you know, it's a tough, uh, it's a tough sell, but I do like it very much so. What do you guys think of that one? Are there any other fields or farms that you have found that you really like on this map? Let me know. Well, our worker did a worker thing again. Uh, he's currently out here and my field is over here. What he did, was not not do well. He did a bad job. He's in someone else's field, just just hanging out, man. Just hanging out. Just gonna wait and see. Right when we get up on it, right there. Okay, and then we'll come this way and and maybe hire a worker or something. You know what? I'm I'm actually not quite sure. <laughs> I still can't see where I've been. Uh, this is a bad idea. I I I, I knew that I fertilized early for a reason. Ugh, I think I'm doing okay. I have no idea. Well, I would say that's probably good enough for now. Uh, we got one more to do down here, and then uh, after that, I'm gonna reevaluate my seating preferences. So for this one, I have a good game plan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the bottom down here, and then we'll come up the side, and then I'm just gonna hire it on a worker. And that, might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Bring it through here, good to go. Drop, oh, what just happened there? We went a little bit too quick and we hit 25 miles an hour way too fast. Here we go, spin around, nice. And then this is gonna be an interesting little junction here, but I think we could do it. Yeah, we did just fine and we'll bring it through. Perfect, now we come all the way to the very tip top and then swing it back down around again. Uh, as a matter of fact, we really shouldn't have that much to do, and I don't even know if that's a straight line on the other side. So maybe hiring a worker is a bad idea. <laughs> Spin around, bring it through. Good job. Nice. Uh, we'll take a look here. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely not a straight line, and that's good to know. 
Come through here. I can kind of see if the, the light is just right. I can see where I have and have not been. And I'm sure I'm doing an awful job right now. Maybe through there. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit further out. There we go. It's it's definitely not great, but it's not it's just it's just not great. That's what it is. <laughs> but we should be able to hit it coming straight through here. And yeah, more or less. I think that'll be good for me for now. Uh, we're also going to fast forward a little bit more time here, get to uh, 1300 o'clock in game. And then, and only then, can we start to sell some bells. Let's do it, man. It is past the time, and we should have a full set of. Oh. Uh, all of the camp, camp things are gone. That's nifty. You see, there was one right there. Interesting. Uh, this is. Silage! How are you? Silage! 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 Ha ha ha! Multiple silage. Get, let, I'm stuck! <laughs> Help! Alright, now let's find ourselves a place to sell said silage. So we're gonna go here. Ooh, that's a lot of places! Um, let's see, 568. I don't own the BGA, so I don't think we're gonna be able to go there. Uh, let's see, 282, 284. That seems to be the place to go. Long Meadow Barrels! Let's tag a place and let's find out where it is. God, that's a long ways away. <laughs> are there any ones that are close by? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a water tank. Crap. There is one that's closer. However, the pricing for it is far from as good. So I need to figure out how much is my time worth versus how much is it worth in game. I think it's just way more worth it to hit the main road out here, head up to this farm, sell my bells, and be done with it. I think that's the best way to do it. And and so we're going to try that and see if it works. I don't... Man, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Let's set this to uh, bell collecting. Let's see if... Man! Why do they always do that? And then we got to hit this button. Yeah! I made a mistake! I made a mistake! I made a mistake! Yeah! I didn't like that. I don't... I don't want that to happen ever again. That was... That was no buenos what that was. All right. Oh... <sighs> Gave me a heart attack, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? All right, let's uh, let's pull this out here. Ooh, let's get ready. So let's turn on our blinkies, and there we go. And then we'll head out here. I have not driven on the road yet. I've not even left the farm. I don't, what? What is? What is beeping? But is that the four ways? I ain't gonna use them now. That was annoying. Let's see if we pull out of here. Uh, I do have that all the way up there, but I need to at least double check. Let's go back into first person. It feels more safe that way. All the way up here. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Uh, hopefully we don't hit any trees with all these bales. They are stacked uh, incredibly high. Uh, we do have very nice areas around here though. I'm loving the landscape and it is kind of cool Getting out first time. I missed, I missed the turn, didn't I? I believe I missed the turn. Uh, the bills are in there. And we are currently right here. Uh, supposedly there was a road up here on the left. And I I thought it was just a turn into the, the, the windmill. But it turns out... Oh, it's such an annoying sound. I don't like that at all. Can I do this without hitting anything? Yes! Yes, we can. We did it. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to drive all the way across the map five times, six times. There we go. Valley View Stores. This is exactly where I want to go. Oh, yeah. All the way around towards the back. This is where we're going to sell all of these silage bells. Every single one that we've got. And I may bring this, the straw bells over here as well just to see what happens. Okay. So this is a full set of 24 bales. How do we... Uh, that was awful. <laughs> I can't pick it up. Can't, come on, man. All right. I think there was another one over here, but it's it's just gone now. So we made $100,000 off of 
that one, just that one thing. Oh, that's a Scania. A hundred grand off of that. Six silage bells might be a little bit OP. Bringing them around for cell number two. <laughs> I guess they're probably gonna go all over the place, so may as well just be ready for that. Yep. There's always one. Get over there. Uh, not bad. Please, why you got? Why you got to be like that? <laughs> okay, so there's another. Say 102 is like 103, 104 thousand dollars. Uh, we're now up to 300 uh, and six thousand dollars. So now I've delivered almost all of the silage bells and we are picking up some of the straw bells now. <laughs> this is definitely not gonna be half as much as money, but you know what, it's it's still some, and some is a whole lot better than none uh, pretty much every day of the week. <laughs> so I'll take that. Let's see how much this brings us and I totally didn't accidentally pass it because I was looking at my phone and driving. Nope, not me, never. Let's check a look. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's why. That's why that mod doesn't exist. Yay! <laughs> I think the straw bales take a little bit longer to sell out. Uh, uh, yeah, we made half, half that trip that we did the time before. Ooh. Well, uh, you know what? We still have four hundred sixty-three thousand dollars. By the time that we sell these straw bales, we'll probably be close to five. I don't think we're gonna hit five hundred, but we'll be close to it. And that's a whole lot more than zero, uh, which I'm real happy about. Yay! So this set went, no, come on. I, <laughs> I'm just trying to do it in first person, but I still wanna go fast. Ah, oh, going slow is terrible. All right, let's pull through here. Let's get over myself and we will drop these bells off. Boop, 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 bam. <laughs> oh, we have three that didn't wanna sell. One, two, Um, three. <laughs> All right, so we are now at $499,000, which is very, very good. I'm real pleased with that. We've got no more bells to worry about, so we'll go ahead and take our bell trailer and put it away, and we won't be getting any more until we get bells off of the straw from the barley. But that's gonna be a few more days, so let's head back and figure out what we need to do, if anything. Today we are gonna be spending some of the money that we made in the last episode, and we're gonna be buying not one, but two fields. We've got two fields that are right here on our property, kind of surrounding everything else that we've got. So what we will do is we will buy both of them. For us, 52 or Farmland 38, for whatever reason, is $203,000. We have a balance of $499. This is perfect. Let's go ahead and buy that. And then Farmland 55, we'll go ahead and buy that as well. Now, one of the good things is we've got two things through here that we haven't seen before. So both of them are ready to harvest, which is great. 106 right here. This is actually field beans. And then Farmland 52 is rye. Two brand new crops to the map and two things that we have yet to enjoy. So, I gotta figure out how to get down and then find my combine. Found it. Now, we are gonna be cheesing a little bit of the stuff today. Obviously, it is very easy to get in and out of both of the places that we're gonna be going. So, what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna drive down here. I've got my header on the back, but we're, we're gonna kind of park it in the field in the middle and then just go through the hedges. Fortunately for us, the hedges are... It, well, you can go through them, which is good because I don't feel like not going through them. Let's go and put this here. We will detach and let's see if we can do this. Swing around, swing around. Come on, DJ. First person. You can do first person. Been trying to do more first person. Got it. Oop. And I brought the header with me, the header trailer with me. All right, let's get everything unfolded. I do need to turn on some help windows because I have no idea what's going on. Disable straw swath. I don't know. If this is going to give us any straw swath or not. But something tells me that we're going to find out. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah, straw is not available with the current crop. So field beans equals no straw. That's okay, because we're doing field beans. We're going a little bit slow, though. Maybe we should... Yeah, we'll <laughs> bump that speed up. That's rookie's numbers. Hey, we got another achievement. Reap what you sow. I don't... I did not sow this, but I, I will reap it. 
Yes, yes, the game knows. The game knows. Uh, if you're curious, uh, all of these are going to be grass fields, I think, whenever we get said and done with it. There's really no point to put regular crops in these fields. It's, it's cool, but I don't, I don't see a reason to do it. And by the way, there's no... Uh, totally didn't hit anything. You guys didn't see anything there. Uh, because they're just so difficult to get in and out of, especially with a combine, and to do it even the slightest bit where reality would set in. I'm not going to say realistic, but just reality in general. It would be tough. So we're going to make these grass fields. It'll make it easier for us. It'll, it'll work a little bit better for us. And of course, we have straw swath over in that other field. Naturally. Well, chaff, chaff swath. I don't know. And then we get here, which is our last little bit of field beans. We did okay. A decent amount. What is that? 6,840 liters. Not bad. Now we need to do a little bit of carting. So I should have brought something else down here with me. I got to go find a tractor. So which one shall we take today? I think I've got them all in here. Oh, but one, I don't even know where that one went. Uh, let's just take the big one, at least for now. There's no point not to take this one. I love it. Plus, I love that green and the black. Oh, it just looks so good. Can we get this out of here and do okay? Yeah, we got this. So, what we're going to do, at least for the, the remainder of everything, we've got a little bit more to harvest, so we will get that done. And then we're going to fast forward a little bit of time. Also, there's something I want to show you guys. I'm just going to leave that there. Obviously, we're still in September. Well, when I moved to September, all of the campgrounds just disappeared. And now I've loaded back in, and they're back. By the way, you could walk through them, so they don't actually exist, which is nice. But still, I found that to be incredibly weird. So off we go. Let's go ahead and get this carted, and then we will get the rye. And then, as I said, uh, we'll go ahead and put some grass in these fields. It'll be very, very simple. But the big fun thing today is going to be fast-forwarding all the way through so we're in september now i think we're gonna have to be in november or even early december assuming that we get good weather so is that done it's done uh assuming we get good weather so we can do more harvesting now i would assume with rye that we will be able to get a straw swath field beans you know i get it however i assume we get straw off of this field and my assumptions are correct and we will actually sell the straw bales today. Yo, there's a lot of straw coming off of this rye. And there's a lot of rye coming off of this rye. Yo, is rye OP? Rye might be OP. This is cool. All right, we'll hit a couple of headlands. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll run two because that's normally what we do even with this combine. We'll run the two and then we'll see how much we got. But I think we're going to be in the know, 20 to 30,000 liter range. I don't know. Let's find out. I would say it was fairly well on the money. We're going to hit 25,000 through here. Almost. Ah, oh, 24,931. Oh, man. So, yeah, we did hit between 20 and 30,000 liters for the entire setup. So now, uh, just me. I'm not going to hire a worker. It's a little bit early in the morning for me when I'm recording. I'm having fun actually playing the game. And so I'm just going to do this myself. Are you guys cool with that? I hope you're cool with that because... I'm um, combine harvested fast in the morning. Let's go. So next to last pass, not too bad. Uh, we've gotten, was that 55,000 liters? We may be at 56, possibly, depending on how much we get off of this little sliver right here. We'll go ahead and hit this and try and line it up in the middle. That way, when I'm coming through later on with the baler, it doesn't cause me too much trouble. Can we get 56? We got 56. I don't think we're going to get 57, though. No, unfortunately, no 57. But you know what? 56 not terrible so now let's go ahead and take this we'll go ahead and get back over put our header away and then we need to cart twice because i well as you can see over there i still have not moved that tractor yet so we got to do that put everything into the silo and then we're going to figure out from there uh what we're going to do as far as selling goes because as you know i'm trying to get into the flower business and and i don't think rye or filled beans make flour I guess we could find out. Oh, don't be too sure. Uh, rye? Grain mill. Look at that. Uh, filled beans, not so much grain mill. So we could probably make some, uh, make some cash off of filled beans, like, immediately? Actually, that's not a bad idea. What's giving us the best price? 403, 469. Of course we have to go with that one. Town stores, tag it, baby. Let's go. Now I gotta figure out how in the world I'm gonna get down here. Obviously, we're gonna hit the main road out. Oh, 
there's my tractor from the end of the last episode. Come all the way down and then figure it out from there. I'm trying to keep an eye on everything down there at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. I think this is our turn. Quite possibly. I don't actually know for sure though. And it's way back. You know what? I think we just need to go investigate and figure out, oh, it's a farm. How to get back in. <laughs> Maybe we should buy this area. Uh, I have no idea how I'm going to get back in here. There's, oh, that's a building. That, that was definitely a building. Okay. But how do we, oh, there's a pathway over there. And there are no pathways over here. Well, that wasn't gonna work. I do believe that this is our turn right here. Town stores, I think this is it. This should curve to the right and then back to the left. Which it does, which means we are at the right place, my dudes. Yes! Uh, so, field bean, 6,800 liters. I think it's given us 20 some, you know, $2,000 per, whatever. We'll do okay. I don't think it's going to be just absolutely incredible, but it's enough. Yeah, 16 grand. That's pretty good. That's enough to keep going for a little while. Now for the ride. This is going to be held off, I believe. So we are not going to get rid of this. We're going to leave it for a minute. There we go. 56,523 liters. And we should go right past our silo in here. At least I think we will. Yep, directly in front of us. Hopefully this fits in the silo. Oh, hopefully we fit through here. Ooh, clip just a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. We'll go ahead and dump this into the silo. At least it doesn't, uh, at least it doesn't tip back. This is one of those that's got the moving floor, I believe. Yeah. All right, there we go. We've got that done. That is it. Now I need to make this turn here. Oh yeah, best sideways driver and farm sim. Yep, absolutely. You can tell. All right, so now we need to put grass in those fields. We're gonna do that off screen and we will see you when it's time to, I think get some more harvesting done because uh, we are not done yet. I may have forgot about one very, very important thing. Ah, I need to, I need to bail all this crap. For that, we break out the handy dandy 6R. Gotta love this machine. Boop, got it. Now we head down there, which I think, oh boy, is this way. It might, it, it might actually not be this way. I'm actually not sure. Oh wait, hang on. Oh boy. We could go this way. Can we, we could hang up left there. You know what, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm just gonna go straight forwards. This is gonna be so much easier. Straight forwards to the left. There's an opening down there. I'll just use that. Or I'll, or I'll do this. This works as well. There is one little spot that we've got over here that's, it's got a bump on it and and I'm not quite sure I want this bump to be in my field. So I'm gonna go into landscaping. I'm gonna go into soft and I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger. And and we're just gonna soften that little bump right out like it never existed because it is so difficult to get through here and do stuff the right way. Especially with some of these things. I know Oxy always makes it to where his, his fields feel real and it's like, oh, there's that bump. I hate that bump in the field. Well. The good thing is, at least in Farming Simulator, we can manage the bump and we can get it out of our way just fine. All right, let's go through. Let's see how many straw bales we can get. And actually, I said I was going to sell these. I'm not. I'm going to hang on to these at least for right now because I don't actually know what I'm going to do with the bales. I don't know how soon it's going to be before we get cattle. Obviously, we are going to get cattle. To it's the way I farm and farm sim, but I don't know when that is going to be. So we'll kind of hang out and and I will wait until the next harvest to see when that might be. Last bale going out. We have made 20 bales. Very cool. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's go and raise it up. We'll take this and put it back and we'll come and pick these straw bales up. And then we will turn this field into a grass field. And then we'll see in like November or December when it's time to have the real fun. So real quick, there is something that I want to do. Uh, we've got, let's go and turn that off. We've got this whole area right here, which yes, does indeed slope down. However, I think it's a really good place to put bell storage or maybe somewhere else. Uh, I really want to do bell storage somewhere because it's just getting a little bit ridiculous the way that I've got it. So uh, maybe do something like that now. 
I don't have any fancy schmancy uh, mods or anything like that installed. I got this. And, and this is the exact spot that I was thinking about putting it. I think this is a good spot. I think it'll work great for us. However, um, it does tend to uh, be a little bit high on one side. I'm going to put it down. I have saved the game. I'm going to put it down here just to see, uh, is this going to work for us? Let's get it close. There we go. That'll work. Bam. Or is it just absolutely awful? Where's our guy? Here it is. You know, not bad. Not bad. I don't like that it did all this stuff and put all this crud everywhere, but I can go into landscaping. I can go into painting. And let's see if I can find some of the stuff that Oxy used. That's not it. There we go. I can do this. Yeah, this is, this is working fine. Also, uh, all that ghosting and stuff, at least from what I've heard with other content creators, that ghosting is caused uh, by DLSS. So I need to possibly just maybe turn that off. Okay, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's what he's used there. That's good. Maybe throw a little bit of this down. Ooh, this, yeah, this is nice. That was a lot. I did not mean to do that. And then maybe inside just a little bit, make it look, uh, what? Oh, it will not let you paint inside. Well, could be worse, right? Could be worse. All right, let's go ahead and get this and see if I can figure out how in the world to put bales in there. I think I got this. All right, here's my idea. Come in, swing it round. Then bring them here and unload them right there. A perfect. And we come here where you can see we've got 20 of 20 of those bales. That works for me. All right. Let's go plant and figure out what we're doing in the morning. And now, welcome to December and the day that we get to have some fun. Everything is ready to be harvested. Actually, a lot of the map is ready to be harvested. Taking a look at what we have right here, this entire little block. I, I guess I could buy these as well, but I just don't care. Uh, we've... <laughs> Sorry. We've got barley in three fields, and then we've got grass in a lot. We've, we're actually going to get a ton of grass, so we'll probably split these up into like, okay, these will be silage, and then these will be hay, because we need to do silage and hay bales together. However, uh, to get started, we will do grass another time. I want to get some harvesting done and have a little bit of fun doing the barley and getting the bales all done. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we have the three fields. We're going to start with this far one right here, and then we will make our way around from there. Let's go ahead and get everything unfolded. Let's go ahead and pick it up, and we will be good to go. Now, I'm planning on cheating the system a little bit today, so I hope that you're ready for that. What we're gonna do is harvesting all of the barley. Once we get all of this barley harvested, then we are going to take the barley that we have. We're gonna take the wheat that we have. I need to double check and make sure the straw swath is enabled. It is. And then we are going to take the rye that we have. All of that will be sold to the grain mill. Then we're going to buy the grain mill. So we will get the money for the grain itself. Then we will buy it, giving us all of the grain that we just had, as if we never sold it, but we basically got free money. Cheating the system, man. I'm cheating the system. You guys know what I'm doing. Uh, you, you've done it too. Don't even lie to yourselves. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. We are going to uh, cheat the system and get plenty of them. And then we may even upgrade depending on how expensive it is. And that's another thing as well is depending on how expensive it is, uh, we may have to be careful. We also want to put ourselves in a good position to get cattle because I also want cows. I don't know how many, but usually 50 to 100 is a great way to start. And we want to make sure they're going to be making milk. So we're not going to want babies. We want adult cattle. So all of that together has to happen and it has to work in order for us to do exactly what I want today. Are we going to be able to do it or are we going to have to extend it into the next episode? I have no idea but I'm having fun doing it. I may have gotten myself in a little bit of trouble because I've started having so much fun harvesting. I was like, oh, I'll just keep going around. And that's becoming a problem now because I've gone around this field now four times and, and I don't see an end in sight. I also hope that I can continue making these turns. Oh, this one's gonna be a little bit rough. Yeah, we're 
We're not going to be able to make that turn again like that. I'm just having fun, man. I'm having fun playing Farming Simulator. You guys know how it goes. It's good, though. It's good. Uh, we're doing okay. We're at 56,000 liters. Uh, I did a, a little calculation, and I've got a mod installed where the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, whenever I'm out of the cabin, as a matter of fact, if you give me a second, I will show that to you. So we'll jump out of here. At the bottom right-hand corner, it'll kind of tell me what we've got left. So you can see potential harvest quantity, 86,575 for this field. And if we jump in here, you can see I've already gotten 58,000, so there's not much more. Should be good to go. Uh, I think at this point, I'm just gonna start going back and forth because I, I think I've done enough here. So, oh boy. Uh, so let's just do that. I'm, I'm just gonna start here and go back and forth. I'm gonna harvest and I'm having fun. Let's go. And this will be our last pass right here. Coming up on it, ba-boom, ba-boom. And I'm actually gonna see if I can line up Oh, I almost got it with this straw swap. There we go. 86,040 liters. There were a couple small spots here and there that I did miss. So maybe that had something. Let's, you know what? Let's jump it. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's way too much fun, dude. It's way too much fun. All right. Let's get down in here. Let's see if I can get this through there. We did. And let's go ahead and harvest some more. So this will be another one of those fields where I'm not even going to try and hire a worker. I'm having way too much fun doing this myself. However, we are gonna have to cart a little bit from here because there's just, well, we're just gonna have to, aren't we? We're just gonna have to, and I don't know how long it's gonna take before we do that. By the way, the grass fields turned out absolutely beautiful. They turned out really nice. I'm super excited to be able to do those. Uh, we are gonna need a tether as well. I do not own a tether, so we're gonna have to find one. Uh, and then I need to figure out if we need any other seating options or stuff like that. And even if we're going to have enough money for those. I think for right now, though, we're doing okay harvesting some, uh, some, uh, whatever this is. Yeah, barley. There you go. Good job, DJ. We almost made it around the second time. I actually got less barley this time around than I think we did wheat. I'm not quite sure, but, uh... And it's definitely going to fill this trailer up as well. I believe this trailer holds 100,000 liters, I think. Which is exactly the same amount as the Combine Harvester. Also, wherever said grain mill is, wherever this is, we should probably find out where this is. So, do do grain mill, tag the place. Now we'll zoom out and see what we can find. Ow! That is super close. Nice! That's <laughs> closer than it would be uh, taking all the bells. Yo, can I back up to the silo? I'm gonna try and back up to the silo. We got stuff here in our way. Oh yeah, didn't tip, cause I'm the best backwards driver in farm sim. Let's go. As far as content creators go, I'm sure a lot of you guys are way better than I am, but you know, I'm better than clutch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll let that do its thing. We'll go ahead and jump back at our combine and we were finished this field and we've got one more to go after this one. I found a puppy. Sup dude, how you doing man? Yeah, who's a good boy? Oh, you good boy, buddy. Oh my goodness. Get out of the field, though. It's a bad place for you to be, dog. Go. Isn't there a go home button? Yeah, where? What's up, dude? Uh, let's see. Pat, enter vehicle. Uh, no. Get, get out of the field, bro. I will say, I do think. Come on, man. Uh, I do think it's cool that Oxygen David includes the pet and, and makes the dog just so lively in maps like this. I know on Comston, it was all over the place. Now in court, here we are again. Tell you what, I really hope Oxygen David's next map doesn't start with a C because I'm going to start getting them confused. I'm already confused. After we hit this, I've got an idea on how to get over to the other barley field without having to get our header trailer. So we'll go ahead and take this, dump it all out right there. Nice, nice, nice. So we should be able to just kind of sneak in and out of all of our grass fields to get yay, uh, to get over there. Of course, the header trailer's way over there, so we're gonna figure that part out. But I think, I think we could just kind of scoot over here. We'll drive past the back of the pig enclosure. There we go, straight through that, and then we should be able to drive straight through this. And like, that's it. <laughs> I don't advise doing this at home, but I mean, it worked, right? 
<laughs> totally worked. I love it. All right. Uh, we will go ahead and harvest this field. I may bring you guys along a little bit for the ride because you saw me create this field. Um, and I'm, I'm very proud of it. So let's see, at least for the first head, we'll bring you guys along, come through here. How close did I get to the edge here? Close enough to maybe cause some issues, but not close enough to actually cause real problems. And then we got all the straw bales in there as well. All of these bales are going to go in there too. Uh, also, I did have to um, kind of smooth it out a little bit, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, the landscaping was poor to say the least uh, not oxygen david it's after i placed that uh placeable down so i had to go through there and fix it all up but it's now fixed so we're good to go let's see if we can continue this along there we go nice cool all right i'm gonna finish this field up and then uh it is gonna be time to cheat the system last pass and this is gonna be it for harvest year one i mean there's nothing else we can do in year one not for, not at least as far as grass work goes but uh yeah this this is done. There we go. Okay. Barley is complete. I need to go find our other tractor. Perfect. So now is going to be the fun part because we're going to get this and then we are going to go fill the rest of the trailer up and we are going to start carting all the way right here to the grain mill. Uh, it's very close to where we were actually going to the bell cell point. So uh, that's kind of nice. But we're just gonna have to make a few trips. We have three different crops and it's probably gonna take us five uh, trips, I'm guessing. Plus it is really difficult to get back in here. Oh, come on, you can do this, DJ. In and out, good to go, good job. I'm, pr I'm proud of me, I'm proud of me. And then we'll bring it here and swing it around. And, and I am not lined up. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be tough. All right. Can we do it? Can we do it? Nope. Sure can't. It is not getting the trigger to to collect the, the bar. Please, can I have it? Uh, this is where you collect the, the barley, right? It's got two triggers down there. Yeah. Um, is this too high? Left stick. There is no left stick. Um, did I mess up? <laughs> Am I just an idiot? This is where you get it, right? I think my trailer might be too big. Uh, we may have to swap out for something a little bit different. Hang on. So here's my idea. Take one of my silos that is very close. This also uh, uses a... Uh, a sneaky little way to make it all work right. Um, and I think I could put it right here where everything's mostly flat, not have any troubles going forward and be able to get things out of the silo. Ah, <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh yeah. So this'll, this'll work just fine. Let's see, barley, there we go. Uh, and it'll fill it up pretty quickly. I was trying to avoid using my own silos, but uh, well now they're linked together and I could actually make this turn every time, which makes things all right. All right, let's get up there. Let's go. We are here. Yeah, super easy. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to drive in and out of here. There's not, so I'm guessing backing in is going to be the better option here. Uh, and then we also need to buy the bakery as well. Real quick, before we dump this in here, not a regular sell point, let's find, which is probably in here, it is, I love that, $121,000. That is a lot, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, there's one other thing I need to check real quick, and this is going to be bread flour where's bakery 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 sweet treats bakery i think that's the only bakery tag the place no i wanted to visit crap where is it it's down here this i need to see how much this is gonna cost <laughs> i think this is another one of those that we go in yep that's way too cool uh 55 oh we could totally do this all right so we're gonna do that. Where's this? Yes. Well, original plan works just fine. Original plan is original plan. We'll take this, dump it in. 
Nice. And then we'll go back. We're going to go back and forth doing a lot of this. And we're also going to make a good amount of money at the same time. May not be the best money, but we're going to make a lot of it. Almost $200,000 just for that run. And we've got a lot more to go. After selling the rest of the barley, now we've got an extra $79,000. The sale of wheat is definitely giving us some good money as well. That's $219,000 for an entire load. That's pretty good. Uh, we've got a little bit more left to go. We have 7,000 liters of wheat, which I'm going to leave sitting because we're going to use that for chickens. I forgot to get chickens. I also just burped. Sorry. And then we're going to go ahead and bring over the rye as well. It's enough to to sell, so we're going to sell it. So maybe I had more rye than I remember harvesting at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> My bad. Uh, this should give us some decent money as well, but I haven't actually checked the pricing, so I have no idea. 59? Okay, so rye was like half the price of everything else. Still not terrible. So we'll come over here now. We will buy that. And now you can see uh, we have successfully cheated the system. We have wheat, barley, and rye. We can also do oats and sorghum, which is really cool. That's nice. Don't need to do that. Green mill one, two, and three. Love that. Good job, Oxy. <laughs> Uh, we can also upgrade this because I've got the upgraded uh, factories. Level two, $1,100? Okay. For twelve hundred, uh huh. Yep. Yeah, what's 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 next? Thirteen. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh cr uh, Oh crap! The flower's going up. Um. Uh. Paul's game. Paul's game. Paul's game. There we go. Time zero. Oof. All right. Um. We we need to go by the bakery now. Yo, upgraded factories is uh, so OP here. Visit this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love this place, by the way. Um, I'm not gonna do it. An... Is that door invisible? Come on now. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. Uh, we'll come in here and uh, I guess I could wait and deliver a bunch here and then buy this place too. I there's nothing really stopping me from that, is there? Okay, let's uh, let's let's do that. Let's see, where is it gonna drop? It's gonna drop it there. So what I need are a couple of 82 Studios little cheaty boxes. The Global Goods Transport Pallet. Love this thing. Uh, it is such an overpowered, just epic piece. So we'll take this. We'll put it down here at the end. Auto loading is uh, coming from that way, so that'll work perfectly fine for me. Things will drop down. And then we will collect quite literally all of this. Uh, and I think I'm going to keep upgrading this. We can upgrade this all the way to level 10. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So cheap, dude. So cheap. All right, we'll go to times one. And I just want you to see how fast this is going now with a fully upgrade. That's so stupid. <laughs> And once we get to a thousand liters, oh, it's moving now, boys. Uh, once we get to a thousand liters, it will put down a pallet and I'll be able to tell, is it going to start on the right hand side or the left hand side? It put it on the left side. Today is going to be a big bailing day. As you can see, we have not one, not two, but three big fields, all with straw ready to be harvested. We've also got, I think, four maybe five grass fields that need to be mowed. We may get to those today. We may not. I'm not quite sure just because of how much we have to, to bail up. It's going to be a lot of straw bales. Also, we have currently got the grain mill working for us. This grain mill is going to be making a bunch of flour for us. And we are currently collecting said flour. And we are going to be putting it in here and then selling all the flour at one time so that whenever we sell it, we can actually make the money at the bakery and then buy the bakery <laughs> with the money that we made and then make it make us some bread. And then we'll go sell that bread somewhere else. And maybe we'll buy that too if we can. I don't know. So that is uh, kind of what's going on to get you caught up. And uh, kind of what we're doing. So very first thing I think we need to do is bail up some of this straw. I think the game plan is also going to be to utilize one of the tractors that we've actually used a lot. We bought this used at the beginning of the series. And we're going to keep using it. This bad boy right here. 
Oh, I love this tractor so much. And Mark Thor has actually done a little bit of modifying to this as well. So uh, big shouty outy to him for doing some of that. Now we'll say it's a little bit loud. So, uh, hey, Mark, if you're watching, oh boy, it's a little bit loud, <laughs> at least compared to everything else. So with this, kind of have to either back up a little bit or just turn it down in my headphones, which I've been having to do a lot lately. So let's grab our baler. Please, let's grab our baler. Got it. And now it's going to be going through all of these fields, getting all the straw done. I think I'm just going to start at one end right over here where we started and work our way around. So let's make sure it's unfolded. Let's go ahead and drop that down. I believe the start is over here. Something else we want to do is reset that bell counter because we are going to make a lot of bells it's going to slow down at first i've had a lot of people asking as well you guys can check the description and i have a link there to a google doc that has literally every single mod that i'm using on this series plus even all of the script mods there's a lot of stuff down there so if you guys want to be able to use the things that i use whether that be for all platforms or whether that be for uh, pc only when it comes to the scripting stuff you can do it i believe there's even one or two script mods that are all platforms which is kind of fun. All right, let's uh, let's hit this field. It is going to be a lot. So let's see what we get off of it. We'll see how much money we've got at the end. There are two ideas here. I don't know which one I want to go with yet. So uh, we're just going to pretend that both of them are plausible. Option number one, we're going to take the straw, sell it, get more money, buy more farmlands. A lot of you guys have been talking about this farm right up here and I like it. There's even what looks to be a silo. I don't know if there is a silo up there or not, but uh, it, it does look good. So that's one option. Option number two is to save the straw that we've got today. Also save the grass that we mow and make half grass, or not half grass, half straw. And we're doing straw now. Man, I'm an idiot. Uh, we're gonna make silage and hay. And to get cattle, whenever we can once we get cattle we could start selling milk and once we could start selling milk that is going to be super duper beneficial i think that might be the move but we'll i guess wait and see but i really think that the move right now is to take the money that we've got run with it and buy some cattle the only problem is we can't buy a lot here is our cattle pasture, and uh, though it may be cool, it only holds 50 head of cattle. I tried to modify this to hold way more, and it didn't work. I don't know why. So, yeah, I guess that just is what it is. But I would like for it to hold more. It doesn't. So I don't really know what to do. We also have this here. I don't know if we can delete these or not. No, no, don't look like that. Uh, I'd love to take this and just make this a small little cattle yard that holds a million head of cattle. That would be nice. But between now and then, I think we just go through, make our straw bales, and see how many we can get. And this is it. <laughs> we have made 48, getting ready to be 49 bales. See right there, there we go. Select the straw, ta-da. Bam, got it. All right, turn it off, we'll fold everything up. 49 bales made today. Uh, I still don't know if I'm gonna save them or sell them. I have no idea. There is one thing I'm gonna do, and I think this might help me out in the long run. Let's see if we can find this. Let's customize. And we wanna go from work mode, Vario BX. Yes, that's what we want, right there. I wanna add these on the back, that way I could bring everything in in a swathing mode, um, because right now they don't do that, and I want them to do that. Yeah, uh, it doesn't cost any money, which is a little bit weird, but okay, whatever. Do I need to do any swathing mode with this? No, that one's totally fine. Where's my tractor for these? Got it. So what we're going to do now is go through and mow. I know we need to pick these bells up, but guess what? We're also going to have to pick up bells later on. Might as well be easier just to do it all in one go and be done with it at one time. So lots of straw bells laying around everywhere. That's good. That's good. Now doing grass work with this type of thing, and I, I say let's go ahead and start with a new field first. Doing grass work with these kinds of mowers, at least uh, the way they are right now, uh, we will need to go in and select the working width or working uh, setup. So let's go ahead and do that. 
working type, toggle work mode. We want to bring both of them down and swath inside. It's nice selected working mode, three point hitch up. Wow, I'm confused. <laughs> Whatever. All right, we'll bring him down. There we go. We'll turn everything on. And that should kick all the grass in towards the center. Now, when we take these turns like so, uh, yeah, we're going to miss a little bit. So we will come back through and pick those up. But the good thing is, at least, that big old baler we got, it's going to pick all that up just fine. So this is kind of to cut out the middleman and not have to come through and windrow. Now, when we do hay... We're still probably going to have to windrow because the tether is going to come through and just kick that hay all kinds of different directions. And yes, I am mowing in December. Sometimes we have to do that in my area here in the United States. So maybe somewhere in the UK you have to as well. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Don't judge me too much. And now we hit this last little spot right there. Perfect. Now we need to go from one side to the other to create ourselves a little headland here at the top, just to make things nice and easy for us. We'll bring that down. We'll bring the back down, but we won't turn it on yet. Now we'll turn it on, and we'll just have one strip straight across the top. I am also going to turn off that front mower now, and then that is how we do that. And then we'll just kind of go back and forth from here. I do want to line this up to where it's almost perfect, just like so, and there you go. We'll kind of turn on that front mower. And rock and roll. So this is a little bit easier. It just takes a little bit more time now, but it saves so much more time later. Instead of having to go over this field three times, it's like one, two, and, and then a little bit. Yeah. And then the reason we did this headland up here is so that I don't have to do any of that other stuff anymore. I don't have to turn off the mowers, nothing like that. Just kind of reline up and keep going. Now, this is also going to kind of turn into a V, and because I'm doing swathing, what we'll do is we wait until we hit all of that, and then go straight down the middle, so it's a little bit easier to do later on. What do you think about that? Pretty good, yeah. Actually, am I fast farming? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's just going fast enough. This is the ultimate mowing a bailing pack from, uh, or these mowers are from that. Yeah, as you can tell, works absolutely perfectly. Love it. Man, that looks good, too. I awkwardly did a great job. Good job, DJ. Let's do it again. This field has really come together. Man, look how good this looks. I mean, I know it looks good after windrowing it, but like I didn't have to do that, and it still looks fresh. What a good-looking field. Can I get this whole thing? Can we get it? Yeah, got it. All right. So there are two fields done. We have two more to go, and we are going to make a pile of money. I have uh, decided we're not going to do cattle yet. I'm going to wait and see if there's some way where I could get it and actually cheat just a wee little bit. Maybe get some more cattle in. Hopefully I don't break the game, but uh, hey, you know what? Things happen, so <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's go and hit this field. We'll have one more after this, and then we'll make some silage bales. And much, much, much longer now, we're done. Everything is completed. We're going to bring everything up, turn it off, and I just want to show you this because I think grass fields that have been mown are absolutely beautiful in Farming Simulator, and I'm real happy and real proud of all of that. Oh, it's so nice. Now's the fun part because we get to take this back out. Oh, yo, I wonder if I can get over here and go in that other field the long way or the easy way. Short way? This way. This is this way. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> A little off-roading. Never hurt nobody. And not not today anyway. <laughs> Got it. All right. Let's go ahead and unfold. We'll go ahead and drop down. Spin around and I will start right here because I'm gonna have to turn left right there as well. So there we go. Now we're gonna make just a absolute monster. Slow down monster amount of silage bells. Let's go in. I'm going to reset the bell counter and we're going to see how many of these silage bells we can make. It's going to be a lot and it's going to be exciting. And, and that is one right there. 
Oh yeah. We've done fairly well. This is at the end of the first field that we've started. Uh, this will be 33. We may even get to 34. Can we do it? Yes, we can. There is 34 round bells made. I'm just for the sake of numbers. The next bit, I'm actually going to go to the smallest field. This was the second smallest field that we had. But we do have one that's a little bit smaller. I want to see what's our total number after the two smallest fields. So we hit 43 total. We didn't get that many off of this field. I mean, it, it's a little bit of a bigger field, but not as big. Now, the next set, we're going to go over here to the second largest field that we've got. Actually, I don't know which one of these is bigger. How much does that cost? Uh, 185, 203. Well, that's easy enough to figure out. So let's do this one and see how many we've got. I'm gonna guess we are going quite a bit over 100 bells total. We might even hit it with this field, but I don't think we're gonna get quite to 100 with this specific field. Where are we at at the end of this one? We are 79. So uh, we didn't get all the bells, but you know what? I mean, we got a couple. We did okay. We've done good. <laughs> Uh, there are a couple little spots of the field. Nope, okay, not on this one. Maybe on the last one. I'm just going to start here, I guess. Yep, that'll be a great spot to start. Come all the way around. This is the last field, so I just realized like we're going to get a really good flyover because every single field that we've got has either been bailed up or bailed up. This is going to be a really nice flyover. After it's all said and done, we are, well, we're over a million liters at this point, which is very nice, but uh, we're at 121. This is going to be bell 122, and we will end up doing 123. So let's come in here. Let's find this. We'll go and put grass there. We'll pull forward a little bit, find that, go grass, and, uh, and now we don't have a baler that has anything in it. Bam. Turn it off, fold it, and go. Cool. Let's do a quick flyover. I really want to see all these fields with bells in them. So here you go. Here's all the silage bells that we did, and we're coming up on the left and right hand sides and right in front of us with all the straw bells that were done. Absolutely epic little fly over here and you got all these little mushrooms and pillows out there just hanging out in the fields now we do have this area here we got some extra grass fields there and of course we have this farm here which may actually be beneficial to us because we have our bell cell point that we've been using as well as the grain mill here so i don't know i still wonder if this farm would be worth it i think it's up here is that right yeah right there 218,000, not bad, plus we get a uh, field right here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still still kind of on the fence about it. We'll we'll see maybe, maybe in a future video, but this, <laughs> that looks so cool. Oh yeah, totally forgot about this thing right here. So this will allow us to store everything. Let's see if I can drop down here. Uh, let's see, 20 out of 250. Well, fortunately we don't have 250 bells. I don't know, do we? I know we've got a lot. Uh, I don't know. Let's go and put straw bells in there first, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we should just go sell the straw bells now. What's the price for them? Of course, the one place I want to go to is selling for literally the least amount of anywhere. 146. Boo. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? Let's just go ahead and take them and let's get them sold. Straw bells going in the cell. First set of bells right here. We'll go ahead and bring them around. And something tells me we are not lined up appropriate for this. Nope. Not even, not even in the slightest. Pick it up. Put it there. Pick it up. Put it over there. Pick it up. Put it over there. Um, I would say that's around 40 grand. So that's good. <sighs> not as much as I want, but hey, it's it's enough. Also, I have a new way of getting back. Yo, know, check this out. I'm gonna boom up a little bit so you can see. So, I'm utilizing this farm right here, the one that's beside us that we've been eyeing. I opened up the gates. Oh boy. Open up the gates for it. Go straight in front of the, uh, the cattle pasture right here. Or I think it's the cattle pasture. And then boom, right over to this farm over here. <laughs> I almost feel like I've cheated. I haven't, but it almost feels that way. Now that we've got all of the straw bales picked up, I've sold, uh, well, one and a half loads, actually. Didn't make one load as large as it could have been. Uh, let's see, we got 20 in here. 
Round bells. Yep, yep, yep. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Got them. So here we should be able to drive past this. Maybe one way and then the other way. Oh, yeah. We have one more, of course. You know, if I wouldn't have been an idiot on my last run, I could have actually done this the right way. But, oh, can't go that way. And this is it. Uh, right here. That's the last bit of our bells. And it looks like I had one here. There we go. Uh, so we made well over $100,000 from all of the round bells that we did. But... Uh, we still have to take all of the silage bales on all the fields and at least put them away for now. <laughs> we need to put them in storage at least for one day in game. If we can get that done, then we'll be just fine and we can come through later on. One thing that I do want to do is check on this. Please tell me there's a lot in there. Uh, 34,000 liters, not bad. Let's see, we've got a lot more in there to go. Probably overnight that's gonna fill up, which is gonna be super, super nice. So let's go ahead and pull out of here. Let's get all these silage bills put away and then we will come up with a game plan for at least uh, the next one. I don't think we're gonna be able to do all the fertilizing and do all of the seeding and stuff this episode. We might start it and I may finish off screen. I don't know, we'll find out what happens. So here's what we've got. We've got our last three bales right here that we need to do, we'll go ahead and bump out. Show you guys how we gonna put them in here. There we go. Oop, little, little squirrely off to the side. Bam! Just like so. Now, this thing is virtually full of bales all the way to the very back. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. So we have 124 out of the 250 slots filled. Filled. Uh, now, the thing is, there's one silage bell in here. It says there's one straw bell. And, and 122 grass bales. And uh, and I don't know how that happened. So I'm, I'm not going to look into it. Yep, <laughs> that's, that's how I'm going to get away with it. I'm just not going to look into it. Uh, I'm going to put this off to the side. That way, whenever the silage bales are ready, we can take them for sale. We're at $764,000 right now. Uh, the next day in game is going to be a lot of fun because we're going to make a pile of money. We're gonna take all of the flour, which should be ready to go. We're gonna take that to the left or to the right right here. Don't know my directions very well. We'll take all of that, take it to the bakery, make that money. We're also gonna take all of those silage bales, sell them, get that money. We're also gonna to have to buy the bakery. So there is that, but it's not that expensive. So we're gonna probably have two commas in the amount of money that we have let's kind of get rid of some of that and boop there we go so yeah tomorrow in game is gonna be a lot of fun one thing i am gonna do i think is trade out this cedar now the cedar has been perfectly fine and 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 i guess i probably didn't have to do that actually because I was gonna say, I really don't wanna use it with fertilizer in it, but I could have just not filled it with fertilizer. I'm an idiot. Well, uh, that gives us an opportunity to use other stuff. Yeah, that's why I did this. Sure, uh-huh, yep, that is me. Uh, give me a second. To make things easy and try something a little bit different, I'm gonna go for something a little bit smaller. So this is the Finer 6SL, uh, and that is not my name. Hang on, DJ. 60, that's correct. But B-E-M, I think you mean H-A-M. DJ 60 ham. Yeah. And then we need this now. So this is, uh, I don't think we need a rock packer tire roller. I think we just need it to actually exist and we don't need any extra weight. So we'll take that, we'll take that. And these two should do us fine. It's gonna take a little bit longer to do things now. Man. This looks cool, but I'm so unhappy that I actually bought these. Where's a stupid tractor at? So let's do this. We'll go ahead and knock out this very last little bit and then it will be time to go home. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to fertilize this field as well as all of the other fields. So we're gonna jump in and use this little guy right here. Uh, direct drill, which is nice. All kinds of good stuff. Fertilizer's done. So now let's give this guy a little try. I'm excited to see how this works. It's smaller working with, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Uh, I think I am gonna go in and do rye for this next little bit. And I also understand uh, we did not get good money for rye. As a matter of fact, I don't even wanna do it. Uh, 
Maybe we do canola <laughs> and start on the oils. Yeah, let's just do that. That I like that a lot better. <laughs> so here we go. Seeds going in. It is a direct drill, which is nice. And uh, yeah, plus it's cultivator. So we're getting cultivator status and we're getting that seed in the ground all at the same time which makes things nice and easy perfect dude perfect heck yeah today is going to be a fun one because we're going to be making a lot of money and we're probably going to be fast forwarding time a little bit we may even be doing harvesting today i have no idea what i do know is that at least currently in game it is january it is cold and i can't really do anything positives though there are some uh for example, all of our fields are growing. So as you can see, we have canola that have gone into three of our fields. We also have, well, all four of our grass fields, which are growing, uh, they're two out of three. I don't have a growth calendar on right now. So, uh, well, that makes things nice and easy. One thing that you need to be aware of before we get started is that's gonna be an interesting one nonetheless. Uh, first things first, let's double check and see how we're doing over here. Maybe slow my roll just a little bit. Uh, we should have, well, it says grass bales. Uh, I thought these fermented while they were in there. Uh, hang on a minute. All right. Grass, let's just do one of these. Yeah, okay. Take a look at it. Fermenting 84%. Okay, well, that's good. Let's chunk it in there. Yay. <laughs> so that's uh, number one. Number two is going to bring us over here to the windmill. I want to show you something because we have maxed out our production completely. So this area right here, you can see we've got all these pallets, which are great, but we have the global goods transport pallet, which it needs some help. It needs a little bit of help. So we're going to bring this here. I'm just going to drop that off there. I actually need another global good transport pallet. So let's go ahead, we'll jump in here and we'll find ourselves another global goods transport pallet. Now these are from uh, 82 Studio, as you guys know, big fan of his work. We'll go over here. I don't remember what the color of the other one was. So we'll go yellow for this one, maybe. What color did I go with the other one? Green, hey, hey. It wasn't John Deere green, but it is what it is. All right, so we've got auto load pointing at left, and then we just need to make sure that these move. Perfect, we got that. Oh yeah, <laughs> watch yourself. All right, so now this is gonna finish up. We need to find something to put these on. Also, what is all this over here? Is this mine? Are these mine? Can I, ha can I have those anyway? I want those. Is this is gonna pop back around. Yay, that scares me every time. Let's find ourselves something to put these on. Now, if we bump over here, I think we've got a bell trailer. Actually, we do have the bell trailer, but unfortunately for us, we don't have any straps on it. Uh, I think this will be fun. Let's use this. We don't need anything too wild and crazy. And let's find ourselves a small trailer, something just small. We could go with like a little 20 foot gooseneck, something like that. But unfortunately, at least for this area, uh, that doesn't look right. So maybe we go into regular trailers here. We just kind of go to the end and then start making our way back. If I remember correctly, some trailers released not long ago that really kind of match up this like UK vibe, but unfortunately it looks like I'm striking out here. I don't see anything, do you? I'm pretty sure I didn't pass it either. Um, okay, well, that didn't work. Maybe we go back out here we go down to miscellaneous. There's always something cool in miscellaneous, right? Maybe in here is where we find it. Is this where we find it? Uh, we have David's stuff. I'm sure this is frustrating at home. So sorry. Kinda, not really. Took me a hot minute, but I actually found what I was looking for. However, I don't think this is gonna be big enough. Um, let's stick with Will's regulars. DJ 60 ham. No, go back, D. Yes, <laughs> uh, rim colors, silver or white. I, I think we go with chrome here because we have to. Now, uh, do we take this? Honestly, I feel like we could take our four wheeler and be okay. It is always fun when you could just get this thing going. 62 miles an hour and I'm not even catching. I mean, I almost caught up, but not completely. We'll go ahead and pull in here. Hopefully the sizing will be good. Yeah, that's not bad. 
Can we, oh, I didn't even think about that part about being able to hook up or not. All right, that's there. This is good. Flower is okay. We'll put that there. Boom. Now we need to pick these up and put it on there. Um, this is where I think I'm gonna get myself in a little bit of trouble. Let's keep the discharge going off to the left. That way, if we put two of these on top of each other, we don't run into two. You know what? We could do this. We could, oh boy. We can make this happen. Put that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, right about there. Yeah. Discharge is going off that way. So what we need is discharge going that way, I think. No, that's auto load. Yikes. All right, flip these around. You know, I thought this might work and it, it is working, but I also feel like this is just a terrible idea. Is this? <laughs> I mean, it's working. What I've done is I've got discharge pointing at both each other. That way it's not trying to load up and they're both working fine. Uh, this is actually doing okay. The good thing is these don't actually have a real weight. So it's like there's nothing back there. So there's not like this huge amount of weight on the back of the car trailer or anything. It is pointed down. Oh no, boy, boy. Maybe we just go slow. So we're pulled up and I'm finding another issue. I can't fit through here to get to the cell point of the bag. So what I'm gonna have to do is actually unstrap all of that. There we go. Actually, you know what? Probably be better if we park it around on the other side of the road. Uh, easy does it. Best backwards drive from farm sim. Suck it, game on. Yeah, all right. We'll come in here, we'll double check, make sure prices are good. I mean, where else are we gonna sell it? Uh, where is it anyway? Okay, uh, actually not bad price, not bad at all. You do not look like Sophie. Maybe you are, who knows? Uh, let's go ahead and get this stuff in there and get it sold. Let's pick this up. I don't know if it's gonna take all of it. Where's my discharge? There it is. I don't know if it's gonna take it all. It would be nice if it did. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to hold it, aren't I? Yep. Uh, there's a really good chance that this is not gonna all sell. And I'm pretty sure there's no way that we've got 20 uh, or 200,000 liters available for sellage here. I mean, maybe, but it eventually is just gonna say, you know, the limit full yada yada, whatever, I think. I probably should have done some research beforehand, but this is selling. This is good. There's about 50,000 liters now. Maybe it holds a hundred. I don't know. And we found our limit. It holds about a, whatever that is. I'm not quite sure. Yo, why is this just, ah, oh, it's so frustrating. Uh, let's come in here. Let's go ahead and buy the place. I mean, we made $134,000. That's decent chunk of change. Let's go and buy it. Yep. And you can see we are full in here. Now, are our upgrade prices super cheap? Yo, hang on. Wait a minute. Oh, down here. Nope. Let's turn that off. Uh, upgrade to level three. For Z sure. Yeah. Man, oh man, oh man. I like the upgrades for, for all of this stuff. So now it'll hold 650,000 liters, which works really good for me. Let's go ahead and grab our second one right here. And we'll bring this through. So I think discharge goes that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll take this and we'll discharge there as well. So all of it's going in. Perfect. Like an idiot, I had them pointed the wrong way. Let's just not talk about it. Done, okay. <laughs> did I really just drop that? I did. Okay, let's go in here. Let's double check, make sure everything's being sent where it needs to be. So uh, we're not making cakes. So we can deactivate that. That's cool. Uh, bread is being made. It is spawning, which is very good. So I could go ahead and take one of these. Usually the yellow one. This will work perfectly fine. And we will auto load. I think it's going to start from the other side. Very likely. Yeah, about right there. That'll do. And we'll fill that up with bread and uh, sell it wherever the best price is. And I guess we could take this back up to the thing, but I think the next thing is going to be oil mill. Yeah. Now that we've got all that taken care of, I think it's going to take a few more hours before all these bells are ready to go. So I'm just real quick going to speed up time. I don't know what part of the day it was. Actually, you know what would be handy? 
I made a lot of these bells around the same time. <laughs> Why don't we get one of them out? Oh, I have two silage bells now. Oh, why don't I just do that? I'll just pay attention to the very bottom because it'll pop up really quick like, oh, hey, by the way, all of these are silage bells now. Yeah, right there, done. <laughs> it was super easy, okay. Oh, it looks nice for January. Super awkward. Okay, so now we have one straw bell, I don't know where, uh, one silage bell, that's wonderful, uh, two of two silage bells. And then we have uh, 121 other silage bales. That's real confusing. Whatever. This is where we are taking our silage bales. They are charging way more down there. It's like $20 per thousand liters more. Each bale is 750, 100 liters. And we've got 124 bush, whatever of them. Uh, we've got a lot. I think uh, it goes 24 silage bales. I think this trailer holds 24 bales. Guess we're about to find out, aren't we? See, there we go. Boop, 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 boop. And we're stuck. Cool beans. <laughs> a little bit more, there you go. Six more on the back. And I think we can get these. I also think there's a trigger on the very back of this. Yeah! All right, let's go, man. Uh, we could do this the long way, but I'm gonna do this the short and easy way. Uh, we're gonna go just drive out here. Also, I have turned off traffic. Traffic's been really the, the bane of my existence for the past couple hours. So I'm just turn it off. I'm gonna drive in the middle and I'm gonna do what I want. So we are coming back down here all the way to the very bottom. Uh, this was one of the first places that we delivered to. And now we are heading back. I was kind of looking for a cheap, cheaty way to kind of cut through all those hedges, but I don't think we're gonna be able to find that. Maybe we will. I don't know, we'll figure it out when we get in there. Perfect. Heck yeah, man. Uh, hopefully we don't drop a bunch of bells like we normally do. We'll put this right smack down the middle. Actually, you know what we could do? And it'd be a whole lot easier as well. I'm just gonna come around here and kick them off to the left. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, who's smart now? DJ Cohen is smart. Oh, don't back up too far. That was not a smart move. Put this here. Boop. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha! $100,000 for all of that. That's pretty darn good, man. That's pretty darn good. I'm looking and I don't think there's any way through those trees. So we're going to have to do this the long way, but I think that's okay. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I saw like a, a quick little jolt off here to the left side. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a dead person. Sorry, man. Here we go. Uh, we are basically done with all this, but I'm trying to get these. So this is a 750, 1.3 ton. These are also... 751. I'm so confused on why there's actually... And why is there a straw bell in the back? Oh, it's so confusing. Uh, I'm going to take all of these and sell them anyway. Because, well, I can. They're all the same size, which makes things nice and easy. So let's take this, put it back. As you can see, we're almost at $1.5 million right now. And I'm not quite sure there's anything on the map that we can't buy. I will also tell you, there's really nothing that we need. And I'm pretty much at the end of what I could do already. Maybe we find some more uh, grain fields. Maybe there's another farm around somewhere that's got more bigger fields, easier to manage. I, I have no idea, but I do feel like we're at the point now where we should definitely look. And this is literally how I've been doing this. Just kind of prepping the bales and then dropping them off as I go by. So there we go. We're at 1.511 a milli dollars. Let's save the game so that I can prove that I actually made some cash. And now let's go in and see what we can find. Are there better fields than we have now? That's a decent size field over there. Farm uh, field one one one, but I don't, I don't, I don't know what's around it. Uh, these are pretty good ones as well. But I'm, I'm also afraid that we may already have one of the best points of field that we could possibly have. I mean, there's stuff up here as well, but um, I don't know what that is. That's the BGA. Okay. Uh, maybe we pop up here, take a look at it. Can we fly? We can fly, okay. So this big old field, oop, <laughs> going the wrong way. So this is a good little set of uh, big fields right here, which is nice. Do we have a farm around here? Um, I don't think we've got a farm around here. We just have some cell points, that's about it. I think the closest farm is gonna be, oh uh, yeah, maybe this one which is the one I was looking at anyway. Come on, man. 
there are a couple places that I haven't shown off, or at least not yet. Uh, we do have a castle with a moat in the middle of a pond and stuff like that, so that's super duper cool if you guys want to go and check that out. Uh, we do have some more cell points and areas like that around, and uh, more stuff around up through here. Yeah, I was kind of hoping there would be more farms. Maybe I'm overlooking them. Hey, if I am, hey, let me know. I am blind as a bat when it comes to <laughs> most things that I have to look at, I guess. I don't know. Seemed awkward. Nonetheless, I think maybe what I'm looking for possibly just doesn't exist. So maybe we just need to start expanding into uh, surrounding areas. Maybe farmland 165 is definitely a way to go. Only 100 and 400. Was that? Really? Hang on a minute. So this is it right here. Only 460 some thousand dollars. It is a very large field at that, and it's right across the road from our farm. How do we get in here? So we have to come in here through here, which is up through here, which is around through there, which is up through here. Yeah, that's so convoluted. I'm just gonna go across. <laughs> It may be a good uh, good farm to, to start with. Of course, I'm guessing that these are solid as a rock. Yep, unfortunately. I, I am also considering just getting rid of those altogether, but eh. All you gotta do is go around them. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, I kind of want to buy it. I kind of want to buy it, guys. Yeah, I totally did a thing. Uh, we own it now. <laughs> <laughs> we are expanding. We have crossed the road. There's a couple other fields and farms and stuff that I'd like to uh, take a look at. I love this area. Like, super duper love this area. I just don't know what I would do with it. How much does it cost? $218,000? Maybe we'll wait. I don't know. So this may be actually kind of interesting. We've done all that. We've got all the bells sold, things like that. So I'm looking at this. We've got a hedge with a, uh, with a PTO there. Well, that's from one mod. However, our mowers are from the Ultimate Mowing and Bailing Pack. It, they're ultimate. That doesn't get better. So that means that we have a rear hitch option on here. Now we've got the low ball hitch, which I believe is the one that we would need to go with. We also have a low pin hitch. We have the rear hitch three point and the high hitch. So now I need to figure out, is it the ball hitch or the pin hitch? I've already forgot. It is a pin hitch. All right, let's go install that low pin hitch and then we are going to go out and I'm going to mow and, and make bales at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work. All right, low ball hitch, nope, low pin hitch. Yeah, that's what we need. There we go. Uh, are we going to have enough power? Oh, I don't know if we have enough power. Here we go. This is going to be very interesting. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Is this going to work? I mean, I'm sure it'll work just fine, let's be honest. But also taking turns and things like that, like, is this going to go with it? Or am I going to run into some serious issues when it comes to things just getting in my way? I'm I'm very interested. What, is my dog really all the way out there? Stupid dog. <laughs> all right, back it up. Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, got it. All right, uh, is it going to clip? No, doesn't clip. Actually, it's not even existent, so that's cool. Okay, uh, this is a little bit more than I thought I was going to be getting involved with today, but when in Rome, I guess, right? Uh, let's bring it right here. I guess when we get up to the edges, I'm not going to worry about coming back and hitting the ends because there is no point. So let's do this. Let's make a bunch of really big silage bales for no reason other than to have them. Let's open that up. We'll go ahead and drop this down and lower it. We'll go ahead and lower that as well. Oh boy. <laughs> I haven't done anything this crazy in a while. Oh, it doesn't turn. There's just too much weight on the back. I need more weight on the front. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's go ahead and turn this on and turn that on. And we are making, making silage bells, man. This is working. I mean, look at this. From all the way, I'll just boom out a little bit. Now, we are going to miss some of these bits right here on the corners. You can see we missed just a wee little bit right there. And that is what it is. I guess we're going to have to get over that. Uh, one other thing. I didn't think about this. I have working speed turned off. We're going to have to cut that back. I know it could go all the way up to 25. 
but I believe the mowers go to about 18, and especially with all this stuff on here, I don't trust myself. But we're doing okay, man. Oh, oh, the, the baler. No, hang on. Reset. Reset baler. Okay, there we go. We're gonna have to add two to whatever we get here. This is fun. Yo, I love doing stuff like this, but I also love now how you could just do it with the simple use of one mod and then all this works. You pair up a few other mods that you think might work a little bit better and voila, here we are being absolute goobers making uh <laughs> making silage bills that are just a little bit too big gotta love it oh don't hit nothing there you go good dj good dj well i don't know how many bells we're gonna be getting off of all of this but i can tell you that we're already up to about 25 26. Uh, it is kind of difficult because there's a lot of weight on the back and the front mower is angled just right to be extremely difficult so i'm trying i'm trying my best it's just <laughs> it's a little bit oh it's a little bit interesting to say the least i'm also because it's such a big field i'm gonna try and run three headlands around instead of just the two that way i've got a little bit extra space to turn around at the very bottom uh, as you can see here the good thing is i don't have to make this perfect because i'm already picking up literally everything that comes behind there are a couple spots where i've missed but you know what? It's okay. Having fun, making a lot of money, spending a little bit of money as well. This will not be a grass field at the end of the day. This is going to be a crop field. I just don't know what's going to go in here. Maybe we plant some canola and whenever we're finally in springtime, which will be uh, likely the next episode, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to put all of this stuff away and call it quits. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. Uh, also, I keep pushing all these bales into uh, the, the hedge. I've never done that before. Granted, I've never had mowers or I've had to get around bales. Things are things. Today is going to be a big day. There's actually a lot to do. We have, as you can see, a lot of fields ready to be harvested. Not only that, but we also uh, have a few fences that have disappeared. We will talk about that. We've also got our new field, which I planted off screen, and we've got a whole bit of canola. I mean, we have, what is that, four fields of canola, something like that? Yeah. We've also got all four of our grass fields that are ready to go, and something really cool down here, all of the silage bales that we got off of that field over here, this one, yeah? This is all of them ready to be sold. We've got our tractor down here, sitting, hanging out, waiting to go. So let's take a look and get you guys caught up. So it is currently March. We have gone through the winter time and uh, we, we, we may, have, uh, may have done a few things here. So I've been working with Mark Thor, the creator of the Quick Quick Bell and many, many other wonderful mods. Uh, and he has actually made an edit for me now. I have loaded his edit into my existing game save. So my horses are still here. There's no fence, so maybe we'll have to figure that out. Uh, and also, the fence has disappeared for our sheep. So I gotta figure that out as well, or at least figure out where the fence was, and we'll build another one back or something like that. One of the cool things that he's done for us that makes my life stupid easy is this. You can see at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, 1,000 head of cattle, 2 million liters of food, 800,000 liters of milk, 200,000 liters of straw, and slurry, a million liters. Uh, it's going to be quite a bit for us. We probably could jump those numbers a little bit higher as well. Uh, he's basically gone through and modified all of the animal pins for me on the map, which means we could finally do animals. Also, uh, the silo holds like a bajillion liters now which makes things really nice. So let's uh, get some stuff sorted. I had the silage bells here to sell. However, now that we have the silo that puts everything where we need it, we're not gonna be selling this anymore. We are going to be taking all of this and putting it in our silo and turning it into loose silage. So why don't we do that first? One other thing is we've got an updated version of this guy, the tractor. Uh, he's also modified this for me to, uh, well, increase a few things, make it uh, work a little bit better, which I'm very, very excited about. So let's come around through here. Uh oh, that's, uh, that's all bad is what that is. 
Let's, let's see if this works a little bit better. Eh, good enough, good enough. <laughs> uh, also, I do believe that the sound that he's done with this, uh, he's actually brought either brought the sound down a little bit or my headphones are turned way down. It's one of the two, and I'm not quite sure, but it seems like the sound has been, yeah, kind of normalized a bit. Uh, one other thing that he did with this map is made the fences open a little bit wider. And then he followed that up by reminding me that I don't use them, so it doesn't matter to me anyway. Gotcha. <laughs> Love you, bro. Uh, we're going to bring this right here because this silo will actually take our bells and uh, put them all into the silo for me. The thing is, as well, is these bells are going to fly all over the place as soon as I unload them. Oh. Oh, well, that actually worked. That worked really well. <laughs> actually, I don't know. Can this... I don't think that'll actually do anything for us, but this, this will be perfectly fine. You guys can see in there we have silage and we actually have a little bit of wheat as well. So that's one setup. Let's go get the rest of the bells. Something else I just noticed. Look at that. He's got the DJ Goham logo on the bottom. Oh, that is so cool, man. I literally just saw that. Oh, that is, all right. That's almost a little bit too cool, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Dude, you're wrong, man. And this is going to be it right here. That is all she wrote. Bam. All right, how much did we get? We have got 656,000 liters of silage. That's not bad, especially for just that single field. It's pretty darn good. Now we've got a lot of other stuff to do as well. Oh yeah, and we need to go check on our bread. I don't, uh, the pr production chain down here. Uh, all this is good. Bread is... Actually, it's still got a lot of flour in there that it needs to make. Man, we should really go down there and check on that just in case. I almost forgot I turned up all the traffic. <laughs> I can go, oh, oh, that was it. Almost missed it. Can we swing this route? Nope, just gonna leave that there. Don't even care, don't even care. Let's come around here and see what we've got in here. So we've got almost 50,000 liters of bread in there. Okay, that's actually really good. Uh, yeah, we'll just wait until it's full, I guess. Uh, we don't really need the money as you can tell uh 1.09 million dollars for all that i think we're all right um next up is going to be the oils but i do think we need to make a little bit of uh i don't know it's it's kind of like what do you do first do we make hay or do we harvest oh and here's another thing this little tree right here is beginning on my nerves painting where's grass Now I'm got it. One of the things that I was worried most about with this map was finding a way to be able to fit all of our combine harvesters and everything that we're going to use onto the map. Obviously, it is quite a tight map, but we've got some really big fields, really big areas now, and it might be beneficial to us to be able to get that stuff done as quickly as possible. So I think the next investment is going to be a big combine harvester. I'm thinking X9. So here's what I've gone with. I've got a modified version of Sid Monning's John Deere X9. We've gone with the European version, EU1, I believe, is the version I've gone with. And then, this may look like a John Deere header, but it's actually not. It's from the Titan. <laughs> so Chris S. Aureli has to love this. Uh, yeah, took the main and design color, made them green, and then I made the wheels yellow and it looks perfectly fine on here. Uh, this is actually not the fast version, just in case for whatever reason I wanna go slow. Don't know why I would wanna do that, but I can if I want to, and that's the important part. Uh, I also went with this header because it has a built-in trailer, basically, with it, which makes things super easy for me. Um, big engine on here, big tires. I didn't go with the extended back, but I did go with tracks on the front. I don't, I don't know. Do you guys think wheels look better on this? I I almost think that wheels would look better. Let's let's just take a look real quick. I don't want the big chunky, and I don't want duels because duels just look stupid on this map. Uh, those are transport. Those are more duels, and there's our tracks again. I think maybe we go with this. I think we just go with like a standard wheel setup and call it a day. Yeah, you know what? Let's do the standard wheel setup and call it a day. I like this. Another really good thing is we could just put this here and then drive in. <laughs> I've got crop destruction turned off. Uh, it is very difficult to handle this map 
with crop destruction turned on. I know there's a lot of people to do it and you have nothing but my most biggestness respect. That being said, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So what do we got in all of our fields? Believe we've got canola in every field. Yes, we do. Uh, field six, our little homemade field, 56 and 57, all showing that. So let's double check, make sure everything's good to go. Enable straw swath because I have Yoast Mining's extended straw crop mods installed. Let's enable fast farming because it's always fun to go a little bit faster than you should. And let's put our header down, adjust it just a little bit and go. And then we shall get our straw swath out the back. And this straw swath is actually going to be saved. We are going to keep it. We are going to hang on to it and we're going to use it for cattle. Because either, well, probably not this episode, but maybe in the next one, we're going to get cattle. We're going to work our way up to it. Uh, I've gotten rid of all of the grass, hay, straw, silage, etc., etc., that I've ever made on this map. So we've saved your silage. Now we're going to be saving our straw and then we're going to make some hay. It's going to be perfect. All right. Let's run ourselves a nice little handy dandy headland and see what do we got after eh, two headlands. After two headlands, we are right at 30,000 liters. Pretty good, man. Yeah, we're doing well. We've got a bunch of straw too, so that is good. And now it is time to possibly hire a worker. I'm actually not quite sure. Uh, I'm going to open up my map at the bottom because what it'll do is it'll give me a, uh, a number. So 250, I don't know if I can hire a worker at 250 degrees. Let's hire and see what happens. I think it's gonna miss a little bit. Yeah, missed a little bit, but that is pretty straight on with how I wanna hire a worker here. So that shall work almost perfectly fine. Yeah, dude. Oh, y'all, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so that was another one of the reasons I wanted to do this because I can hire a worker on this and then go and grab another combine and, and just get back to work doing that kind of thing. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now I'm going that way, one way, down, back the other. Eh, whatever, we'll just start it back down here and it'll be fine. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this whole field on one tank. We might be able to, but I actually don't know. We've also got stuff that's in the middle that is go definitely gonna cause us some problems. As a matter of fact, tell you what, we may be beneficial or, or benefiting ourselves to go ahead and run our headlands around these little bits down here. Maybe, just maybe, we won't run into any problems. We're probably gonna run into problems though. So here it is, here is my idea. By the way, uh, if you, have this field uh, it is not gonna have this little grass patch right here you will need to do this little grass patch yourself so there's that we have a little pile right there and then we will complete it on the other side and that'll be our little headland around this which totally did not work very well with this specific header because the header's just way too big uh but you know it worked we did good and I'm just gonna keep running around in a circle real quick to complete it. Ba-boom. Coming up on the fourth one now, and this has been a little bit more difficult than I wanted it to be. Fortunately, some of this stuff is invisible, so that's nice, but you can see I'm having to like do a little bit of it and then I kind of rearrange myself. Don't worry about what I'm hitting or what I'm missing. Come by right here, drop it down. You see, missed a whole chunk right there, right behind the combine. But then from here, I just kind of swing out a little bit, make a circle, and then quit it. <laughs> just like so. So, does it work? Yeah, I did a good job. Do, should I have? No, I could have done perfectly fine without doing any of that, actually. It was a waste of time is what that was. So, uh, yeah, do as I don't do, not as I do. I think that's how that goes. All right. Let's, oh, I did not get that angle right. Let's go in higher up right here. Come on. Did I get the angle right now? I think I got it right. Yeah, so he'll be able to do one or two passes, but then he's definitely gonna need some help. I'm almost tipped, ah, oh, don't go all the way out there. You didn't need to do that. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. These workers suck. Just a few little bits left on this field and then we are gonna be all done. We're making a bunch of straw. I don't think I'm gonna need straw for like 
I don't know, two years probably? I guess it depends on how many cattle we buy. And also, yeah, I just realized how expensive this entire setup was. Uh, this was a lot, is what it was. It was a whole lot. But the good thing is, I've been able to kind of harvest this whole field and see what I like, see what I don't like. Uh, the power lines are... Well, let's just say I was cool with them in the other fields because they got in the way just a weed a bit. Here they get in the way a lot. So we may do something about the power lines. Not quite sure yet. Maybe uh, hide objects or delete objects even. Uh, we, we, may, we may do something like that. In the meantime, we need to start uh, harvesting this field. And I don't know how long this pipe is, but I'm definitely gonna try and <laughs> just put it in the trailer. Did it reach? Oh, it totally reached. That's awesome. I love that. This trailer is a little bit, I don't want to say small, but uh, um, if we upgrade, having an 8R to pull something a little bit bigger would be very, very nice. So there's our canola. It is out and we could go ahead and start harvesting this field. A little bit smaller again, but we need to hit this. Boom, let's go. Not much off this field, honestly. 15,850 liters not a whole lot so let's go ahead and take this we will dump it in this trailer once again and then we probably are gonna hit that tractor yep sure did uh we'll go ahead and dump this in here because i can't get to the silo and now we are gonna do a roundabout way of getting this to the other fields because i know that you guys at home are saying dj i cannot wait to see what you do to get to the other field let me show you it's actually gonna be really easy these are all grass fields so I'm just gonna drive around to it. And there's no fence on this other side. I mean, there's a part of a fence, but it's not a big one. See right here on the left? Yeah, just a little bit of power right there. Actually, this entire section just goes straight into the other field right here. Uh, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and hit these other two fields real quick, and then we will start figuring out what it is that we are going to, yay, uh, figured out what it is that we're gonna do with all of this canola. So we are getting very, very close to being done. And speaking of very close to being done, we've also got 90,000 liters in here and it holds 100. So I'm gonna find our combine harvester. I'm gonna do a little bit of carting and then I'm going to prepare for the first sale. And I'm gonna have to find the, I believe it's the oil mill is what we're looking for here. Unless there's some way to make extra cash off of canola i don't think there is not not the way that i'm wanting to make money on here anyway all right this shouldn't take long ba bam go have some fun dude do your thing now we need to find our prices so let's go in here let's find our canola let's find oh boy uh it does not look like there's an oil mill so i've got to figure out which one of these is a Honestly, just showing all productions was a lot easier. Uh, and it turns out, no, there is not an oil mill, which means that we need to find, why do I own 193? What is that? Grain mill? Oh, I guess because I had to buy that property, didn't I? Oh, fair enough. Um, Yeah, we need, to, we need to find a flat piece of land. Ooh, $4.8 million for that, and I think we're okay. Uh, we need to find a flat piece of land, and we need to put ourselves an oil mill on there. Actually, you know what? Because this has got all of the others pre-done on it, I really don't want to put down my own productions. I, I like the map kind of the way it is. I'm not sure I want to be messing around too much with productions or anything like that, putting stuff down. So I think I'm just going to go sell this stuff. I think it'll be the, the quickest way, the easiest way here. Uh, see, Pine Creek Stores. Let's go and tag it a place and find out exactly where it is. Oh boy, it is way up there. So we need to head out here. We need to hit the main road, turn right, and just stay on it until we get to the very edge of the map. I'm gonna have to, t <laughs> I'm gonna have to open this view right here just to get there. This is gonna be fun though. We've gone kind of like, portion of the way but we have not gone that far up let's let's check it out i don't need to look and see what's going on because there is no traffic whatsoever maybe we could take this moment right now to just kind of admire the beauty of the map and being able to drive around in first person and just enjoy it all right well that's good we'll see up there <laughs> we are getting close we've got to turn right here there we go and then left into here got it and then I guess right there, right in front of us. Well, that was easy. This is a really cool area right here. Oxy, you did a good job, man. 
put this here pull over it and dump it out and this is going to give us our best price for this possible which is going to be how much huh about 200 i don't know it's it's going up pretty high it's going to be almost three hundred thousand dollars uh, okay maybe a little bit more uh three hundred and ninety seven thousand dollars to be precise so we've already made back what the combine harvester cost roughly now we just need to make enough back to pay for the header and then we could buy some cattle i think we came down in here right on time yeah man we go and fire the worker and i could do the rest of this myself they've done a really good job and the fun part's going to be getting all of these straw bells up because that's no it's not uh that's going to take a long time and i'm probably going to say hello i'm going to make straw bales now and then i'd go and do that <laughs> we've done okay here fifty nine thousand. we'll probably hit sixty thousand with this little bit right here and not quite but we got close so we'll go ahead and try and get this as close as we can in that straw swap let's go a little bit quick but yeah well actually that's it just a little bit quick so let's put this in here we'll put the combine away we'll find a way to go sell this probably at the same place and we'll see what our tally is at the end of it because that will be the end of making money for us today what's that number Ooh, two hundred and thirty six thousand dollars so now we are over one million once again we're at 1.021 doing pretty darn good i don't think right now we need to buy anything uh we are gonna have to go bail up a bunch of straw but i think that's gonna be okay so we will go and get prepared for bailing now i think we'll use the 6r that's been working really really good for us oh yeah wrong part of the world there we go left side i got you one thing i'm gonna have to do is get this thing unhooked there we go i totally forgot that i utilized that mower setup in the last episode had a blast doing that by the way so if you haven't seen it go check it out it was a lot of fun now i'm gonna say something and I'm, i understand this if i'm gonna do loose straw anyway why am i bailing well fairly simple enough uh, i enjoy it and it's a lot of fun let's go ahead and reset our bill counter um it's it's a good time man i enjoy bailing it's fun it, it, yeah, that's about it I, I just enjoy doing it in farm sim so there we go turn it on and rock and roll and one of the great things about this baler is well you have seen many many times uh he's fast he's a little bit of a speedy child it'll go about 24 miles an hour I could probably go just a little bit faster, but one of the other nice things is I don't have to double back on myself with this. It'll just pop out the bell, kick it out, boom, done. Just like so. And I like making bells, and, and I've kind of done loose straw on every single map that we've done. So I said, well, why don't we just do bales for everything? And then we'll figure it out from there. So that's exactly what I've done, and it's probably exactly what i'm going to continue to do because bells are a lot of fun and here it is i don't know how long i've been doing this but it's been a hot minute let's see what do we got there it is ba boom ba boom and let's go ahead and fill up the very last bit in the very back straw belt empty it out whoop i am uh we made 75 bells we've actually done 464 bells in this series just in seven episodes which is just absolutely ridiculous there's so so much to it now, i would love to do a little flyover real quick just to see all the bells in the field uh and then we are going to be doing a little bit of bailing and mowing in the next episode so i'm just going to set that there oh i gotta go pick all these up don't i oh man i'm probably gonna do that off the screen i don't want to do that while we're here let's just jump you know what jump out let's go flight mode and let's do it to it so here is all the bills that we've got in this field a decent amount i mean they're kind of you know all over the place here's the bills that we've got in this one what is that seven i think yeah and then we've got a couple over here and some over here and there you go other than doing our grass fields which we will do in the next one um that is uh that's what we got right now we got to figure out what we're going to put in these fields now and again i i really want to do something about these probably not going to be able to do anything about like the wire in the air but if i can just get this stuff off the ground 
it might make things a little bit easier for us moving forward. Today is going to be all about making hay, and we are going to buy our first cows. I'm super excited about today. So we have not one, two to three, but four grass fields that we are going to harvest. And uh, we may look at some other surrounding areas, but it doesn't look like there's any attached grass fields that are close to us. Uh, we probably will eventually buy a couple of these down through here just because, well, they're close by and I think they're going to be perfect for us. Um, we need some more regular fields, but I think one of the biggest things is we need to figure out how to get these just stupid stupid poles out from in the middle of the field i've got an idea but we're going to need to save the game first so we are going to be using the map objects hider now this is located on the uh, uh the files that i've got for the map so i think what you do is you just kind of go up to it and you hit h um i don't uh hide main collision sure a <laughs> no collision there is there one here Oh, are we going to have to delete the collision for every single one of these? Oh, no. The answer to that is yes. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. However, if we back out of here and we go here, now I can actually see where these are, what they are, and we can reinstate these collisions if we want to later on, which is kind of cool. So if you guys play on PC and you want to delete the collisions on these, you can. Um, I'm sure that you could probably delete these all together if you really wanted to, but uh, yeah, I don't, I mean, I, I, I like, oh, come on, really? <laughs> this one's got one too? Get out of here. Uh, I, I like the look, as I mentioned multiple times. I just don't like that they exist. Get out of my way, a oh, rabble. All right, we'll do the rest. So now I've deleted the collisions on all of the poles that are at least near and or around the area of our farm, which again, makes things very, very easy. There's some stuff that I've kept the collision for, for example, uh, all the way over here. Actually, is this collision still on? Crap, <laughs> I own that field too. Boo, totally forgot I bought that field. It's been, oh, I don't know, like a week, week and a half since I've played, uh, there we go, got that. And then this one we're gonna leave because I don't need to change that one. Going through here just to take a look and see are there any more places with collisions that I wanna delete right now? And consensus say, no, we are good. So comes the next new fun bits that we need to do. Number one is going to be, uh, well, we need a tatter. And I think I found the one that we're gonna get. I was gonna go for the big one, the nine meter, but I don't think there's any reason to get that one. So we'll get this one, the six meter. We're gonna go decals, uh-uh, frame on here. We need to go John Deere and then room color, of course, our room colors for John Deere. Now, um, deconfiguration, decals off. Okay, yeah, none, that's what we want. And we're gonna be using this little guy, the John Deere 5M. It's been a few episodes since we used this and I'm really excited to use it. One other thing we may do is get like a, a set of weights. Uh, we will back up to this and see how much this uh how much this goes down uh it's a little bit so let's go in we're gonna double check the weights real fast so this weighs uh 675 kilograms so we'll probably get a weight that's similar maybe the lightest john deere one Ooh, 900 that's a little bit high maybe we go with a bright green tin winkle here you go 600 kilograms for that and we are good. Uh, also, if you're curious, uh, yeah, I've, I've got the, uh, the store deliveries mod, so that's what's going on here. Got it. I don't like the way that looks at all, but you know what, I'm gonna get over it. So here we are. We've got our baler there. We've got our mowers here. And now we have our tether. I may, may wanna do a wind rower as well. I'm, I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work. Let's go ahead and set it all up. Let's get this mower ready to rock and roll and let's have a little bit of fun today, shall we? I think we shall. Um, I don't know which field I wanna do first. Maybe we start with this one, so it's a little smaller. We can get it done quicker. I don't, I don't know, man, I don't, I don't know how this works. Let's unfold, unfold there, drop it down and drop that down as well. And we will go ahead and just double check, to make sure everything is good here. First things first, let's make sure that we can go fast. I don't, I don't actually remember the, uh-oh, uh, control zero. 
Um, we got a problem. I forgot what button it is to go fast. Found it. It was left alt zero. This is why I should play the game more often. Uh, all right. Are we good? I think we're, I think we're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. We'll go ahead and turn these on. Boo bam and ba bam. Cool. All right, looking good, man, looking good. So the good thing is now we don't have to worry about any collisions. I think that one right there has a collision still. I guess we'll find out as soon as we get close enough to it. But the good thing is we don't have to worry about those collisions anymore. We can just drive straight through and be just fine. So this is gonna be the fun part here because we have this massive amount behind us. I'm thinking that we probably will need to get a windrow because that tether and then the baler behind it, I'm just not sure it's gonna pick it up. Oh, let's, let's double check this thing real quick. Did I take the... I did not take the collisions off. Wow. Okay. Well, I have now, so at least there's that. <laughs> no more collisions. Oh, that's a tree. Crap. One filled down and only a few more to go. This is the smallest one, though, unfortunately. All right. That worked, and I've kind of reminded myself of how I do everything. So hopefully this won't be too difficult. And we can have a little bit of fun while we do it. It's been so long, I actually forgot that I have a windrower. My bad. So, uh, looks like we're good on the windrow thing. Yeah, we're just gonna have to use it now. <laughs> Maybe, I, I have no idea. We'll find out. I'm going through here and we've got our first obstacle. I'm going hard straight at it. Oh, that's so cool. That is exactly what I wanted. The visual that it is there without having to worry about it actually being there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, or at least this field. I may even just go ahead and do the rest of them. And, uh, and then we'll figure out what's gonna be the next thing to do, which I believe is tedding. So now all the mowing is done and we get to have a little bit of fun tedding now. Oh yeah, let's jump in here. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I haven't tedded anything on this map yet. We haven't made any hay, but we've actually got to make some now. And, and I love this little 5M so much. One of my favorite tractors ever. This is, oh, it's a little and perfect. Let's go. Fold it out, doo doo doo. And let's see, we'll drop it down. I think I'm gonna fast farm, but I'm not sure if I want to or not. Actually, this is going uh, unbearably slow. So let's go ahead and yay, straight through there. Curious why it's only coming out once. Uh, yeah, maybe we should cool it just a little bit. I'm not quite sure the max speed for this is a good idea. Uh, also, for some reason, it's not, uh, I don't know what the best way to put this would be, but yeah, okay, now it's all coming out one end. I don't know, man, <laughs> it's working. I guess that's all that matters. Now all that is taken care of, let's have a little bit of fun bailing today. Uh, this is gonna be interesting because I don't know if I need to use a windrow or not. Some of the, I mean, you can see all through there, they are not perfect rows by any means. However, uh, this baler's got a working width of, uh, it's like five meters or something. I mean, obviously you guys could see how far out that's going. So as long as I can stay within kind of the middle, I think we're gonna be all right. I'm gonna just kind of keep you along, let you follow along. Uh, this should not wrap, by the way. Oh, thank goodness. I about freaked out there. <laughs> But I think as long as we can stay near the middle of these uh, rows, it should pick it all up. Ooh, this is going to be a telltale right here. Look at that. It got every bit of it. Okay. I will say tedding took forever, and uh, I am going to uh, look into finding a better way to do that because, uh, yeah, it took, took a long time. It took like 30 minutes to do all of this. That sucked. <laughs> I don't want to do that again, man. <laughs> all right, so... Let's uh, continue going through, making some hay bales, which is not something that I do very often. Have a little fun while we're doing it and see if we can go fast. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, man. Uh, I need to uh, turn off the re reset bell counter. Goodness gracious, how many do we make? One, two, three, four. All right. Boop. All right, so we'll just add four to whatever number we've got at the very end. But this is not going to be the big part of today. The big part of today is going to be getting the cattle, getting together all of the equipment that we need for cattle. We need to figure out how we're gonna be doing milk. We need to figure out how we're going to be uh, getting together their slurry and moving that stuff back and forth and, and the production chains for that and, and all of that. 
It's a lot of fun. It's just, it's going to take a hot minute, man. I got the time. Just hang back and relax. I got you. We have been killing it, man. Uh, so we're at 97 bells here, plus four. And we're about to get this thing out of here. I think this should be 98. Yes, and uh, we got 75. There's no way. Hang on. Windrow, there we go. Empty it. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to empty that. So... 98 bells plus four we got 102 bells total that's pretty good and that's a lot actually because i think these are these 9500 liter bells um 9000 liter bells so 9000 times uh 100 and <coughs> two i'm not doing math today i'm gonna go park this up and then we've got to collect all these bells and take them to the silo it is a good look though i just want to bring you guys along show you where all the bells are all these fields i tell you what i love these flyovers like this it is so cool to see it's kind of how all the bells just lay and like even a little pattern like going from the top left up here down to the mid part there and and well i think that's about the only one where it's actually showing a little bit of a pattern but still, I think it's really cool. First set of bells is collected, and then we bring it here and drop them all off in the silo. And we see how much we've got. Um, uh, strong? Hey, there it is. Hey, 290, 39,000. Hey, what? why is there so much hay? Hang on a minute. Straw is good, silage is good. Was that 239,000 liters of hay? Seems like a lot. Well, I just did some math, uh which is always fun and it looks like that's about right it should be 216,000 at least if these bells are accurate but it looks like it was a little bit more possibly i don't know but nonetheless yeah uh cool beans this is gonna be a lot here's our last load right here we'll go ahead and do those boop and we have a total of one million liters of hay i think we made more hay than we've done for anything else and we had a lot of silage so that is is done all of the work is done all of kind of the i don't, I don't know the the busy work uh between me and you guys i think it's taken like two to three hours maybe a little bit more to do all of that so yeah i'm ready for a little bit of a break so i'm gonna save the game i'm gonna sit back for a minute stretch we're gonna jump back in because we're gonna have a good time. With our one million liter, or one million liter, one million dollar budget, we've gotta figure out how many cattle we would like to have, and we're gonna have to buy equipment for them. I need at least one liquid tank, and I need at least one feed mixer. I believe out here is gonna be my store. Yes, okay, store deliveries is out there. That's good. I have some interesting mods that I normally use through here. So I'm going to see if I can find some of these and see what we could do with it. So first things first, uh, let's see if there's any self-propelled uh, feed mixers that I have modded. Not likely because I don't remember doing it. Yeah, it doesn't look like I've done it. So that's just fun. Uh, so I guess we're going to do it the old-fashioned way down in here. Here, I actually have one at least Kingdom Egg Faber modded. Love this thing super. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones from a 19. I got to use this in 19 and 17. I believe 4D uh, modding released it in some way, shape, or form, but I never really got to use it and enjoy it um, back then. But now we can as well as... <laughs> I love that so much. So we have the liquid tank from... Uh, at Miss Matana. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to get one of those. It's fairly simple, fairly easy. We could do trailer board tires. We could do wide tires. The main color, I think we could do John Deere stuff through here. Design, can we change this to John Deere as well? We can. Rim color, can we change that like that? Okay. I'm very happy with that. Holds 2 million liters of liquids. That's going to be just about perfect for us. Now, oh yeah, there's an M modded. Oh, I see how she's done it. And I added a bunch of zeros. <laughs> and now we're going to get our Mac Fiber. We could use some of this Robert stuff, too. It's cool stuff. I just, I don't know, never used it. <laughs> Let's find our, our modded Mac Fiber here. There we go. And we're going to use this. Will Brand, since we're using Trelleborg tires on pretty much everything, we're going to 
No, there are none. Cool. Uh, Redstone it is. Big old Redstone. Uh, to see design, I want to go with not as much as possible because this is quite expensive and no registration plate either. Uh, does FDJ go ham on it? It does. Well, that's fine. Now, I think we've gotten everything that we need. We can use both of these, I think, with the small 5M as well, which would be super nice. So we'll go ahead and jump in that. And I'll just drop the tether right there. I don't think we need to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead. We'll drive over here. We'll pick up the Keenan, And then I think we'll take it over there and see what we can do about finding ourselves some cattle. Uh, we got $954,000 right now. Ooh, it's a little bit heavy for this, but it'll do it. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to have a good time here. So let's pull forward and let's find ourselves some little bit of cows. Ooh, this is going to be interesting to pull through here and actually find where to feed them because i don't actually know where to feed the cows is it over here it's gotta be over here yeah if if it's not here then I, i'm not quite sure where it would be we can actually pull straight through i think <laughs> not through there we can't but we can pull through through there and i think drop it off there i think that'll be good perfect now let's buy ourselves some. We'll come through here. I am going to reimburse myself for the delivery fee because I hate paying for the delivery fee. I do like the brown Swiss. These are awesome. Cows provide milk, which can be sold for a profit. The type is mainly used for dairy farming, and that's what we want. We do not want little babies. Um, we want cows that are already producing um, milk. So gest or gestation period, 10 months. Puberty is 18 months. So we will do 18 months. Boom. Select that. 60 we'll go ahead and buy 60 of them okay and that cost us twenty-seven thousand dollars. um so we're gonna be able to buy a lot of these huh yes indeed we're gonna be able to buy a lot of these oh man okay so here we are we have 250 head of cattle and dog they are everywhere in here <laughs> holy cow goodness gracious bro all right, we'll come through here. Let's see. We need to find out what kind of food they need. Uh, so here they are. Do, 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 do. Productivity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, TMR. I think that's about it. I'm not sure what base food is, but we'll just give them some TMR because that's 100%. And we'll use this because this is an epic machine. Uh, they'll hold 2 million. I believe this machine will make 1 million. And uh, yeah, so we'll pull through here. This might work still doesn't work i have no idea why that won't work this works perfectly fine <laughs> oh i see how they've done it so here's what we're gonna do we are doing 40 percent hay 40 percent silage 20 percent straw i don't want to go too crazy with it i have more hay than anything so that's where we will start and we will monitor down at the bottom until that hits 40 percent and there it is well almost now we need some silage we're gonna fill this up and we're gonna wait until this hits 80 percent in there and then we'll be good perfect absolutely perfect also you can turn on your help window and it'll show you guys what you need there as well and now we're just going to top it off with straw as a uh, filler kind of like a i don't know filler there you go back it up good and got it one million liters of tmr and our cattle are going to take every bit of it not only that uh, we're really not going to have to do too much with this either then we're going to come back through and fill this back up with straw see i think the dump is on my other side yep so i think i'm probably going to have to pull in here let's see we'll come around through here this should work i don't know if it will or not but it should Hey, there it is. And it will start coming out here. Perfect. Oh, it is coming out fast as well. We can monitor everything at the bottom. Oh, it's manure through there. Hey, where's our food? There it is. Holy cow, 600, 700. Woo wee. Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, we do need to give them some straw. What are you doing, brah? It's just chilling on the floor. Uh, I think a million liters is probably enough for these gals. I think it'll be okay, at least for now. How much straw can we hold? We do need to be knowledgeable about that. Uh, it says straw 200,000 liters. So uh, we can't put any more on that than that in there. 
So we'll go ahead and get that now. And we'll stop it whenever it says 19. Ooh, 194,000. Look at that. Oh, I did a good job, man. I did a really good job. Let's see if we get back this. Oh, I got a little bit squirrely. <laughs> to be the best backwards driver, sometimes you have to drive backwards slowly, which I don't enjoy doing very much. And once we give them this, this should be about all we need to do with these cows, at least for right now. So I got 200 and Stralston, your face isn't accepted here. Uh, Stralston, <laughs> uh, that was a bit much. Uh, and it's uh, full. There we go. So uh, straws almost to the top. Uh, food is half, but whatever. And then they're going to give us milk and slurry as well as manure. So manure actually drops in there. So that'll be good. And I need to find a place to put this. I've got a lot of tools and stuff that are out right now. And we need to find a place to put some of this stuff. Or else I'm going to have some severe trouble with too much equipment. Just out and about hanging out. Maybe we put it in here. I don't know. Or maybe we put it in there. I have no idea. Whatever. I'm just going to put it in this shed. Now that the cows are good and happy, I'm going to take this time to go around. Just kind of clean up the farmyard a little bit. There's just stuff everywhere that i've left here for the past two episodes so now is going to be a good time clean up put stuff where it goes maybe carry around the sprayer spray stuff off just get it back looking nice and enough sound good sounds good to me too so after tons and tons of work eight episodes worth of work we have not only taken over a massive amount of land around this farm but we've also got lots of really cool equipment we have two combine harvesters four tractors which to be fair we haven't bought any of those new uh we've also got different pieces of equipment we just bought animals for the first time and and there's just so much more to this map that uh well even i don't think i've got enough time to go around and see it all so at least for today we're gonna leave it here we will be back so keep a lookout. Um, I had mentioned at the beginning of the series, I thought it would be a short one, and I think that it still is going to be. Maybe around the 10 episodes or something, at least until this is released for all platforms. Uh, otherwise, we'll just kind of jump in something else and have a little bit of fun. Maybe pick up where we left off with Valley of the Old Farm. I'm not sure yet. Either way, we're going to have a good time. Check the uh, description for stuff. We'll see you guys that next time. Today, we are going to be putting crops in the ground and uh, well, caring for the cattle that we just purchased in the last episode. If you missed that, go check it out. We also made all of these telephone poles invisible. More, more or less invisible anyway. I mean, they're, they're still here, but uh, yeah, I can, I can go through them now. So we don't have to worry about anything being in our way we can actually get a worker in here hire them up when doing planting and things like that which is super duper cool we also have some fertilizing to do but we'll probably do that off screen on the grass field so we need to figure out what crop is going in the ground and are there any other fields around that i want to take over something else we could do is expand a little bit so i kind of wanted to do this later on however since we are same day in game we could technically Cash out on some of the bread that we've got, sell that, buy this area, buy more cows, and uh, maybe a little bit more fun. I don't, I don't know if we'd buy as many, but we could definitely have a new farm over here and maybe even have a place to put our combine harvesters because they'll fit here. But they do not fit over here, so that may be fun. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think we should do it, so let's just go ahead and do it. I'm, I get it right there. There it is. Uh, we could also buy a couple other fields. I was looking at these specifically, uh, but I don't actually know if I want to. This is a big field right here. It's all grass. Now, granted, this is a cattle field. Uh, this is where the cows go, so I'm not quite sure if we're going to mess with that. It also has grazing on it. So, uh, well, it's. It, let me show you what it would do. See the square in the middle right here? That's grazing. I don't even have any sheep and it did it. So, yeah, there it is. I mean, to be honest with you, we'd probably be better off just planting a bunch of grass and doing one massive grass harvest, but that's super boring. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I think we take over a few of the fields that are at least around this farm and then maybe relocate a few of our things. We've got a couple fields right here ready to harvest, so I say we get them. Farmland 106, there we go, and then Farmland 136. What is those? 59 and 109. So there you go. Uh, those are oats ready to be harvested. So let's grab our combine. Do we need the big one? 
Eh, we may as well use it. Let's have some fun. This is another one. If you guys missed the last episode, we purchased a nine, or an X9, rather, the, uh, the nine series here. 1100, big one. We went with the UK model. Let's see if I can get out of here without hitting anything. There we go. And we'll grab our header, which should be down here, pointing the correct direction. And it is nice. As a matter of fact, you know what? It may be even a better idea to take this, this harvester and put it over there. And what's the, like, official way to get there? I don't, I mean, I'm sure there is an official way to get over there. I just don't know what it is. Let's see. We'll bump up real quick. We'll boom out. See what we can see. So it's all the way down there. I don't actually know if there's any way between our fields and those fields. There is an opening up here. So we might be able to make this work legit, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, to be honest with you guys, for the equipment that we had and the things that we're actually doing, um, this farm up here right in front of us, the one that we just purchased, this almost makes more sense. It's got a silo that assume, presumably works, uh, and it's also got cattle, which is pretty much all I would need is a silo and cattle. I don't know, man. And, and bigger sheds. You could fit much, much larger stuff there. Maybe the one to go with, I'll tell you what, especially when this releases for all platforms, that may be exactly where you guys want to go. So we'll bring it around, double check, make sure our straw swath is enabled, and it is, and we've got to pick up right here, right off the side of the main farm. And this is exactly where I am going to start this. We'll go ahead and enable fast farming, which I totally haven't forgotten how to do now. Bring up the reel and go nice i will take you guys around this field because this is something brand new to us it's a very cool looking field we've got a nice little jut in right here then off to the left where it opens up to the main part of the field uh, this will be a lot of fun doing corn or something like that as well coming up through here looks like we have quick access to a few other fields around so that one to the left there may be a good purchase as well especially doing something uh I don't know, grass crops, something like that. And that may be another thing as well. Running on the other field because the fields are just much larger. Running those in complete just grass or uh, a crop rather. And then doing all the fields on this side of things in grass. I don't know. That, oh, 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 that's going to be a big pile. Oops. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's complete our headland or at least two of them. I don't know if we need to do two of them or not. I don't know. I may just continue to go around in circles. We'll see when we're done with this. After one field, we have 20,000 liters, which is, you know, pretty good. Uh, I don't actually know how to get into this other field, though. I guess up there at the top. I'm not sure where would be a good place to start. I think maybe down here at the bottom, because we've stopped down here, and if I've stopped down here with the combine, then that's where the baler's gonna stop as well. So why don't we just start it here? Right here. Ba bam just like that so this one's a little bit bigger and it's a little bit more squared off it's fairly forgiving in the size of the shape so that is good and that makes things nice and easy for me we'll probably get more off of this field uh let's see we'll back up to that i can actually tell if we look at the bottom right hand corner it should tell me uh potential yield quantity twenty one thousand. okay well, that is a little bit more. So not a bad pickup here at all. We've gotten over 40,000 liters of oats, which is, well, more than I had when we started, I guess. See if we can put this last little bit of straw right down in. There it is. Perfect. Now we need to take the header and put it somewhere. I don't, I don't actually know if the header will fit at this farm. <laughs> Probably should have figured that out earlier. You know what, actually? I could maybe put it right here. Just sit it on the ground? No, let's try that. Put it right here. Boom, 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 done. Nice, okay. There's another thing as well. So the uh, green mill right over there is, well, it's right over there. So I wonder if I could just drive over there and then dump this out into the silo that goes into the green mill. I don't think it'll reach, but I should be able to drive around it. Also, I believe we're in a big grass field right here. This may also be a good field to buy in the future, too. And it's got a sign. Does the sign got collisions? Yes, it does. Oh, that was rough. All right, we'll, we'll just kind of back in here and be done with that. I don't have anything left in here, but we do have, uh, well, we own it. So there's that, at least. I don't think we could sell it, either. That kind of stinks. I didn't think about that part. Bring it here, bring it around, and golden. We will double check and see. Jump out of there. 
And we'll take a look at the bottom right hand corner and it is making flour like it is going out of style. We'll go ahead and fold this. We'll take it back over and then we need to get something over here to collect all of that flour because we're definitely gonna need that. Oh, and we can put this away. Yo, let's find a place to put this away up here. I really wish I could plow some of these hedges up. I guess I could remove them, but uh, yeah, they're fine right now, whatever. Let's find somewhere here that is nice and easy. That's a pretty good shed. It's a little tight right here though. Uh, let's see, we could pull forward we could park over there, but I do know there's a really big shed over here. Yeah, look at this. Look, look, look at this. I parked it. It's parked. <laughs> oh, and we'll give it the uh, once over. <laughs> and we're back to using this guy again. Let's go ahead and hook up and we will drag it along. Should go fairly quickly. Hopefully we don't crash it like we did last time. I mean, I definitely didn't crash it last time. We'll bring this over to the green mill and at least go ahead and get the flower out. At least here we don't have to worry about traffic anymore. Yay! I do love this little John Deere. Would be cool to get, I don't know, like a, a gator or something as well. I do love the four-wheeler. It's pretty awesome. I wish I had one of these in real life, but I also don't have a gator either. That would be cool too. Oh, can't break. Little, little, running a little bit fast for that. <laughs> break it here. Ooh, drop it off. Grab it. Go, 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 go. Now let's see. Discharge to the left, so auto load to the right. Put this right here and uh let's see oats going in the first bit of flour has not happened yet so we're good we got her just in time sweet now i think we should go down find our bread and possibly get a nice little sell off of that as well it is kind of fun <laughs> i'm sitting here driving back and forth and i realized that every single field on the left or right other than the one that we drove down through we own. All right, so we have 51999 bread. All right, well, good enough, I guess. Uh, we'll take this, try and center it right on the trailer. Does that work? Oh, it works really well. Sweet. All right, we'll strap it down, and we need to find where we are going to sell our bread. Now, here is our bread. See, 5455, 5584. And it looks like that is it. So Garden Center, tag the place. Where is it? Yeah, up to the right, right there. I don't know how I'm gonna get there. So I guess the game plan is to go forward and go as far down near the edge of the map as I can, then follow this road around, and then follow the main road up, which should take us right here. It's gonna be a long trek, and I will need my, <laughs> my little help window down there at the bottom. Double check, make sure we've got it. Yep, don't have to go too crazy. And I'm not sure if we want to go <laughs> this fast or not. Uh, 62 may be a little bit quick, but at least we can move it around. All right, we'll take a look kind of left and right since I haven't been down this way. I figured, you know what, why not? Let's bring you guys along and we'll show you kind of other parts of the map that either you haven't seen in this video or maybe you haven't seen it. Oh, that was my turn. And that's the edge of the map. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I think uh, back up just a little bit more. Wait, hang on. Where's, where is it? Uh, is, it's not that. Yo, what, what, uh, hang on. It is this way. This is, <laughs> this is the way it wants me to go all the way through here and then back around off to the right here. It's all dirt paths. But the problem is I can't go this way because there's signs in the way, like even this. Ugh. Can I get around that? Maybe. I don't know if I can get around all this though. This is a lot of junk just all up in the way. I don't even know if the gate will open. The gate does open. All right, well, let's see. Let's see what happens through here. At least we're in four-wheeler and not something else. Uh, coming through. And I'm definitely not going to go back the right way. So we can close that now. <laughs> All right, bring it through here. Oh, squeeze around to the right. Can we get can we get the pallet through? We can, yeah. You know what? You can't stop me. Going through to the right. There it is, yeah. <laughs> 
gotcha. Now let's see what else is gonna, <laughs> what else we're gonna have to get around. All right, coming through here. This is pretty cool. I like this pathway. Yo, yo, Oxy, real good job with the pathway, man. This is cool. I probably should have gone main roads. I think there is one road that goes that way. It was just kind of out of the way and, oh boy. And then now main road here. No, 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 no. We got to turn to the right. Yo, look at all that. Oh, it looks so cool. Uh, this map is so interesting because you can, you can be on one side of it and then you get to the other side like over here and it looks completely different. It's all brand new. Never been through here before. It looks so cool, dude. Even through all this, you see we've got some, uh, well, the areas to the right can't be, uh, can't be purchased or anything like that. But we do have areas off to the left, which look very nice. Big fields, strip fields, stuff like that. Very different stuff. There's really not a lot of big fields. Oxy does a good job of making really big fields on UK style maps. However, this one, not really. Maybe, maybe 60 was a little bit fast. Let's slow slow our roll down to about 30 or 40 that'll do can you imagine going 60 miles an hour on a four-wheeler yeah there you go get out of third gear good job buddy keep it back in first person again get off to the left right there we got another farm or, or something i don't think that's actually a farm but it's something and then right in front of us here we go this is where we're gonna make our money uh, we should make a lot of money as well and this should kind of feed our habit for buying uh buying things that we don't need Ooh, pull through there and this should just empty we'll see it should be high enough to start making money yeah there it goes and this is gonna take a while i would say we've done pretty well uh that's a lot of money made off of that two hundred ninety thousand dollars for some reason i think it was gonna be a lot more but you know what that's all right we need to get this back to the bakery but i don't know how I'm gonna do that. Let's find out where we are, okay. And then can we just cut across? I think if we went to like right here, hmm, we'll take our first right. That brings us over a really nice bridge. Check that out, that's pretty cool. And now we're back on dirt roads again. Crap. <laughs> Still, it's really cool to see. I mean, it's almost like a map tour in itself, just seeing all of the different areas, all the different places around just to make a little extra cash. I think I'm going to, yeah, we want to go left. There we go. Uh, I think I want to buy some more cattle for that other farm. I feel like it's a good idea, at least at this point in time. Yeah, this is all right, dude. Look at this, you got little houses through here. Really, really tight lane. I should not be going this fast. I wouldn't even be going this fast to real life on this thing. But it is nice through here. This is super cool. And there should be a cutoff here to the right soon. Actually, right now. Yes, and I'm just gonna cut straight across all of this. I am aimed directly at where we go. Oh no! Well, it worked, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna cut straight across all of these fields. Don't even care. And we're gonna put this back and we'll we'll get back to, oh no, that one's, that one's deeper. Come on, come on, come on. Centrifugal force, you got this. I'll just see you there, how about that? I didn't even try, dude. I <laughs> didn't even try to get in here. I just grabbed it and ran. So we'll take this, we'll put it right yeah, and everything will slowly but surely go bloop, 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 right into that. Cool. Now we got to get back over to the main farm and we got to get ready for planting. And, and maybe we go buy the other cows. I kind of want to go buy the other cows. Before we do that, we're going to need something to get us over there. Oh, that's a very loud tractor, but I still love it very much. Oh yeah, and see that planting setup? Yeah, we're not. We're not gonna use that. It's a little dirty too. Hang on. I was trying to do it when I was behind the building. It didn't work. Crap. All right, where's my feed mixer at? There it is. We'll grab this and we will go ahead and put together an entire bit of food for them. Um, hopefully it's enough. I know we've only saved stuff from two harvests, but if we've got to get three harvests a year and get it to be able to, to take care of all of our cattle, uh, we may be running into a bit of a problem because I think we're not gonna have enough fields and we're just gonna spend a bunch of time doing all this work. Now, off screen, that would be fun, fine and dandy. Old screen, takes a while, especially on a map like this. So we'll go ahead and we'll make ourselves TMR. I'm doing a 40-40-20 mix. Well, I thought I was gonna do a 40-40-20 mix. Uh, the issue is, uh, let's see, silage. 
I actually don't have enough silage to do the full mix that I normally would. So here's what I'm gonna do. We are gonna fill this up with all of the silage that we have, which is 250 some thousand liters. General, okay, well that's it right there. Um, I've got as much hay as I could possibly put in here to make it TMR. So now I'm going to fill up with as much straw as it'll let me do. I'm sitting there monitoring it on the, uh, the monitor here on the side. We're gonna put as much of this in as we can, right to about there. And then now we need to come in for the hay again and fill this back up to as high as it can go. Uh, I think we're gonna get close. And then I will maybe do the rest in straw because I think I can. There we go. So we made TMR, but it is far from what I normally do. It is a 50, 25, 23, well, with points mix still a million liters so that's good we still had enough which is good but boy oh boy did we just scrape <laughs> scrape the uh the, the, get by all the, the shit of our teeth there's a i don't know there's a saying in there somewhere just got by by the skin of our teeth ha ha got it i don't that's a saying and now i'm starting to think about it and i don't think teeth have skin and that's a really weird thought to think out loud you know what we're just gonna stop thinking about teeth skin and move on uh let's swing this around so the feet is pointing in the right direction i'm freaking myself out man we're gonna put this right here boom and then now we're gonna take a look it says uh, manure heap and where are the cattle actually at where's it gonna give me the trigger for the cattle maybe it's out here in this little paddock area yeah there it is so uh, we've got the same setup here for the food we will come here and we will buy ourselves uh, uh, the other ones are brown Swiss, Swiss as well. Maybe if we do this, we can move them around and maybe have the younglings in one and the adults in the other, something like that. So we'll do this. We'll select this and we're going to go 60. I'm going to buy 250. 250? Yeah, 250. There we go. We got that. Uh, I also lost a little bit of money as well because I accidentally bought some young uh, Holstein cows, which was a bad, bad move. So... Uh, with all the investments and everything, we'll just kind of give ourselves 30 grand for the sake of the time and the trouble. I'm still pretty sure we lost more than we made through there. So now we have adults there. We'll go through here. We'll go ahead and dump out the food and we will take a look at the cattle in the main area. So you can see here, uh, we've got productivity is actually going up there, but they are all the same age, same health, same everything. I'm just not quite sure why the productivity went up there. So food going in, it's almost finished, and we will do the same thing with straw. We will go get uh, a little less than 200,000 liters of straw and fill them up there. And straw it is. Let's see how far we have to go for this. Probably gonna be in the same trigger. Yeah, it's in the same trigger. This won't take too long. So there are our cattle. Uh, hopefully they will be producing milk. The other ones have produced a little bit. They've also produced a little bit of slurry as well. So uh, that is good. These guys will probably do the exact same thing. So now we just uh, let them sit and let them do their thing. Uh, as far as this feed mixer goes, of course it being at the other farm, does make sense, but I kind of want to put it over here somewhere. Eventually, we're probably going to have to run one for each, but uh, I think for right now, you know what? I'm going to park it right here. This is a beautiful place for this. And I may leave it hooked up to the 5M as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sue me. <laughs> so now we need to think about seating, and with as much room as we've got, this ain't going to work. It was a lot of fun. For one time, it's been a while since the horse DLC was out, so you know what? Let's just get rid of that. Now we need to figure out uh, what else we're gonna buy. I have no idea. So we purchased a few things and I've got my cedar and we're down to $44,000. You can see there's uh, money going out slowly. I've decided to go with something that I haven't used yet and it was my favorite, I'm not gonna show you. It was my favorite cedar in Farming Simulator 17 and in 19 loved it and farming simulator 22 somehow got nerfed and was no longer a direct drill however there's a mod called seeding options and you can make that not have fertilizer which is what i want and here we go we'll hook up boop you can also make it to where it uh, will direct drill and that's exactly what i've done 
It's a big cedar and we're ready to go and I totally forgot I have to fertilize first. Crap. So I figured this would probably be good enough for me at least. So let's go with this and uh, let's get a little bit of fertilizing done. Let's hit uh, 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 a field. Yep, uh, that's a good one. We'll go ahead and just hit this one and then we'll be done with it. We'll go ahead and do the rest of them too. And then we will get to seeding, which is going to be a lot of fun. So I am using... Uh, this guy will go in and enable fast farming as well. This is the geo spread from the Kubota equipment pack. Now, one cool thing about this is that it will, well, fertilize a, a lot. Another really cool thing about this is if you select the uh, maximum capacity, it actually uses less than you would think, which is super cool. And it's color selectable. So, of course, we went with the green and the yellow. This is a really cool fertilizer spreader. And if you guys need a fertilizer spreader, this is definitely the one to go with. So, now that all of that is done, and we got the little baby puppy just walking around, doing like, what are you guys doing, man? And we're just hanging out, bro. It's all cool, bro. Yeah. We are going to put some crop in the ground, and then it's going to be time to take off because I just realized what time it was. Uh, and we've been here for a while. So, we may, we may hang out. Also, is this the second or third piece of uh, equipment that we bought that's not john deere something like that you know what whatever it's such a cool piece of kit it is such an awesome cedar and yes we're doing wheat as our last crop just leave me alone i just need a judge free zone here man judge free zone we'll go and enable fast farming as well so we can get it over with uh so the next time you guys see us every field that uh well I've decided we'll have wheat in it, we'll have wheat, and then every field that I have decided will have grass in it, we'll have grass in it, and we will have just an epic harvest day, and at least the game plan is to uh, go through with episode number 10, and finish that, and then go and do something else. This is episode 9 right now, so we're going to do episode 10, and then we'll kind of move on at least until... Uh, this map is released for all platforms. I really don't want to do too much with it. I wanted to play on it. I wanted to have fun and I wanted to share my experiences with you guys. Of course, there's the, no, not everything's perfect. And, um, you know, I will say this as well. Though this is an incredible map, Comston's still hard to beat. I think I like Comston more just because of the big fields. And that's it. Very obvious, but yeah. That's it. Big fields. Love them. Therefore, I... I like Comstead a little bit better. Totally biased, absolutely, 100%, but it's still super beautiful. Today is gonna be a lot of fun. It is currently July in game, and we've got one more day until everything grows. Our grass is ready, but we're not gonna do that yet. We are literally gonna do everything in one day. However, there's quite a bit of things that need to be done today. And I'm over here at the bakery for a reason, because we have got bread that needs to be sold. I've got cattle that need uh, milking, I guess? I don't know, we need to sell the milk. We've also got, uh, there, well, there's a manure heap that's, well, the cows are eating it. It's nasty. Um, funny enough, one cow pen is making more milk and creating manure. The other one, uh, here, that we're just getting ready to fly into, doesn't produce any manure, even though it should be, it is not, and it's producing less milk, which is really, really weird. So the goal today is to, at least in part one of the video, is to take all of the milk, all of the manure, all of the slurry, sell it. The milk, I think you guys know what I'm going to be doing with that if you've watched any previous series. Uh, and then we're going to sell the bread as well. Once we've got all that, we'll have enough money, I think, to buy a couple more fields. There are some extra grass fields here that I would love to get my hands on. For example, uh, grass field, grass field, grass field, grass field. And they're all lined up perfectly with the fields we already have. So I think that may be what I want to do pick those up so let's get to work step one the milk now the milk is actually fairly easy because it's located right here on this farm and the other farm it's even easier to get a hold of so we've got our milk container right there and i think let's use something that we haven't used yet even though we've gone 10 episodes in the 4020 man i love this tractor so much but we just haven't used it there's been no reason to well you know what now we've got a reason to. We've got milk that needs to be gotted, and we are going to gotted the milk. Uh, 
I didn't like wording it like that at all, and I don't think you guys enjoyed hearing it that way. So let's just not do that again. How about that? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, can we make it? Oh, just made it. Swung it all the way around. And then we need to bring this right here so that we can back in to get that milk. We are going to have to run over some cows, but in a uh, in a world like this, that's just is what it is. Let's, let's open this up. Let's open this up. Thank you. And then we'll jump back in the tractor. Best backwards driver in farm sim. Oh, yeah. Look at dude. He is... He's so good at driving backwards, he's looking forwards. How you like that? Uh. <laughs> and we will uh, we'll go ahead and get the milk here. Uh, we did have a lot. It was like 130,000 liters or something like that. Uh, 138,000 liters. Now, keep in mind that I bought these guys just a little bit apart. I think there was like 1,000 or 2,000 liters of milk in there. I backed into a building. Uh, and, you know... 138,000 liters there. The uh, the problem here, 96. It's like they started making milk and then just kind of decided, you know what, I've had enough of this, let's quit. And I don't know why. As mentioned, this one's pretty easy to get a hold of. It is just located inside and please open, open sesame. Open shama lama ding dong. Oh, that worked. <laughs> Not the words I wanted to say to get that open. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and collect what milk these guys have. Or gals, rather. Which is, well, yeah, going to be about that much right there. Hey, look, there's another way out. Oh, well, that's cool. All right, well, we'll figure that out later. And um, what we need to do now is place down a new production chain. We need to place down a new milk production chain. Ah, we are the triggers on the wrong side. So, let's figure out where we're going to do that. I'm going to guess over by the uh, the mill right here. I mean, this seems like a pretty easy place to put this. So, let's see if this is a good place. To put. Oh, you know what would be even better? There's a uh, industrial area right up here. This is an even better place to put it. Oh, yeah. Evidently, I don't have enough money to do that yet. Those $30,000 to do that. So we're going to have to park it up. We're going to have to tab around, find this, and go sell that bread real fast. I always love doing stuff in the weirdest way possible. And this is just another <laughs> another thing to add to that collection. Get a dice and centered-ish enough. Yep, that'll work. And now, where do we sell? Bread? 55, 3, 55, 7, 56. I think that's going to be the winner. Long Meadow Stars. Tag the place. And where is it? Oh, way over here. You know what? I think we could actually cheat it through this time. Unlike the last episode where it was a little bit more difficult to go straight through. I think we can do this. We made it. And I only crashed once. But... I didn't have to cheat to get myself out of it, so that was all right. All right, we'll bring this around here. Hopefully, this will give us just the amount of money that we need. Money's going up. Actually, as a matter of fact, I didn't look. Okay, $5,600 per thousand liters. We had, what, 80,000 liters, somewhere around there? This should be a good payday. Yeah, I think we did okay. Uh, I think we did very good with that $499,000. Yeah. I think that's way more than any of the wheat or the barley that we would have had, would have done. That is good, dude. Yeah. All right. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is cheat. Uh, nah, I know you guys love it when I do that. I'm going to cheat back over here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Filled 57, 59. No, not, not that far up. 56. You know what? Filled six. Filled six will be good. Uh, let's go here and then let's go to... Teleport vehicles, field six. Ah, crap. Uh, well, uh, I guess we'll find that some other time. <laughs> I decided to go looking for it. I found it. It's right here. <laughs> I don't think I can. Um, I don't. I don't think I can reset this. Oh. <laughs> uh, Crap. You know what we can also do? And I just realized this. Let's just put the milk thing on this farm. I mean, a good spot right there. I can get around it and make it look good. Why not? Let's just put it right here. We'll flatten out the ground. It'll be fine. So we'll go into landscaping real quick. We'll go to leveling. That is the wrong way is what that is. And then, yeah, just like this. See? 
Ta-da! Yeah, it's good. Uh, let's see, we'll paint it a little bit as well, just to kind of uh, get an, an area in mind. That way, yeah, that'll work. And then, ah, <laughs> click there, didn't I? We'll click over here. We'll take this cheaty, do like cheaty, and then we'll see if it'll lay flat. Uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna lay flat, so we'll have to do it the uh, long way here. I'm gonna use my mouse. Just give me a second. Looks good. Does it look good to you guys too? Bam! <laughs> That's about it. Oh, the edge. Uh, that that doesn't look good through there. Let's go to landscaping and let's uh, maybe smooth all of this area out around it. That way it kind of looks like it's supposed to. Yeah, it's good enough. And then I'm gonna make the ground exactly like this. So we'll go into painting. Let's see if we could find this dirt texture. I think it's close enough. And then we'll bring this around just like so. Uh, see the round of the rest of this, it does look like there's a, yeah, a little bit of asphalt or something. So maybe, ooh, that is definitely not asphalt, uh, dirt. Dirt, that's the same thing we were putting down. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. That works. And this is going to be probably the most amount of money that we will ever... Wow, that's a crash counter. I just ran smack dab into that. Uh, this will probably be the most amount of money that we make. Uh, this is one of my cheats that I use for every single series. Is that... Oh, 100,000. Yeah, we're going to have to upgrade this. Uh let's see. Let's go upgrade for 33,000. And now we can hold 27 million. No, only 200,000. Wait, hang on. I didn't have two. Ugh, come on, bro. Let's upgrade it again. There we go. Now it's up to 300,000. Please don't make me upgrade that anymore. All right, that's good. Uh, let's go in here and let's find out what we want. So raw milk is usually the one to go with. This is gonna give you the most amount of money. Uh, however, you can also do cheese and butter. If you've got too much milk, as I've found that sometimes I do, um, that will help you, uh, well, get more. <laughs> That'll help you get a lot more money if you want it. So we'll take this, we'll pull it around and we'll just leave it on this farm because there's no reason to take it to the other one. Now we need slurry, and I, oh, slurry tanks back there. Let's do that. Let's see how much money we can, oh, yo, by the way, how much money do we have right now? Do we have enough money to go and buy these other fields that I want? All right, so it's 50, 49, 53, 55, 58, and 60. These are the ones that I want. So there's one, there's another, there's another. I need grass, man, leave me alone. <laughs> Please tell me I got it off. Oh, we're down to 18 grand. Dog. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to sell some slurry. I don't think we're going to be able to take it to the BGA because that in itself is another production chain and we just don't... We ain't got it in us. Uh, let's see. How much slurry is here? Uh, not bad. Actually, it won't even tell me. Um, It's almost empty, though. 239,000. That's not terrible. All right, let's find out what we got at the other one. Slurry on this farm is going to be a little bit more different. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, that that manure heap is a lot, lot larger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, my goodness. Why, dude? Why? Oh, man. All right, uh, let's see. Slurry. Okay, it's right around here, right here. This will be good. It says we can sell this to the BGA, which is great. That's pretty cool. Uh, however, I'm second guessing that and gonna say, uh, no, no, you can't. So what I need to do is figure out where's a good place to put a cell point over here. I don't think this is a, oh, it is, that is a silo. So I don't want to put anything in there. I believe this is a silo as well. It is chaff. So what we need to do is find a place around here somewhere. I don't know if I could put one in here because vehicles can't get in. I need a place to put a cell point. And, and, cause I don't want to go far, but you know, far enough, but not too far. Like this will be a good spot right here. <laughs> uh, I may even put one in over there. I need to find that. So the cell point that I'm going to use in productions, cell points, it is this one. Sell everything's from Schultz Modding. It's awesome. Uh, man, it just works, right? So I need to figure out where we're going to put this. Putting it here is just a little bit heavy handed, I think with that, but around here might be good. 
because we could drive in and out through there, down through like that. It's a little bit difficult to get back here, so you got to work for it. Or we could put it inside of a shed somewhere to where you have to actually like back into a shed to uh, to sell something. That may be fun. I'm not quite sure. I need to find some flat land. I've got it. The perfect place. Right here. <laughs> actually, yeah, I can, <laughs> I can unload all the way out here. So we really don't even need to pull in there to unload this. That's super cool. All right. So while that, oh, that is selling fast. 54 grand. Oh, oh boy, I'll take it. Uh, now is going to be the manure because those poor cows are just having a time. So let's uh, let's park this out of our way a little bit and let's go get something to help these poor cows. There's poo everywhere. I don't know how we're going to get in there, but I feel like if we're going to use anything, the 7R is going to have to be it. Next is going to be our tipper. This is going to be, uh, well, we, we're going to have to use this. The next bit is going to be much more difficult unless we buy something because through here actually if we can open that oh that just made this whole thing incredibly easy so we'll pull down into here and then we'll turn around we will oh uh, i mean i'm the best backwards driver in farm sim but i don't think this tipper is gonna fit in there i don't think it's gonna fit in there at all Yep, uh, we need a different plan. All right, so here we go. Universal bucket, 25,000 liter capacity. This is for all platforms and it's fairly cheap. Now we need a vehicle to run that. So I'm gonna go into vehicles, skid steers. We wanna keep John Deere, so we're gonna go into here. Uh, I don't think there is a tracks version, unfortunately. BKT looks... <laughs> <laughs> so silly. All right. Uh, trailer board works for me. Design forestry. Now we don't need that. Main color and rim color. Those are all cool for me. And we've stayed within the pricing. Wow, that is a big bucket. Uh... <laughs> I guess we're about to find out if it's going to be too heavy or not. So this holds 25,000 liters and I am at the wrong... Oh boy. I'm at the wrong farm. So here's something else I just thought about. Because this bucket is so large and comical, I don't actually think we're gonna be able to fit this in there either. It's just way too big, man. I think we're gonna have to modify something. Um, yeah, definitely don't see anything there. That's, that is not gonna fit. It doesn't even fit through here hardly, does it? I mean, it, it does. Yo, can we fit through here? This is going to be very difficult, but if we could do this and then spin it right around there, yeah. Now that is okay. All right. I know this is a manure area, but I want this to load it manually or automatically. Am I actually going to have to muck them out myself? Oh, this is going to stink. So this is working, but it's another one of those like, I don't. I don't think this is the right way to do this. Let's see if this is gonna dump it on the ground or sell it. Should sell it, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so cool, but that took forever. So let's, uh, and it's again, extremely comical. So let's back this out of here. Let's just put that away for now. I'm gonna grab the John Deere again because I've got another trailer here. Uh, this is a little Stroutman SCK cool trailer and it's one that i found that i modified i don't know how long ago but it's modified at some point and it should be small enough to fit in there and uh and hit the trigger that's a little bit low we may want to look at to another vehicle to back this thing in there with but if we can do this oh please tell me it's gonna uh, uh i don't even think that this is small enough um and i can't even figure out how to back this in there oh 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 i think we could do it i think we could do it let's back it up we're doing okay we're doing good we're doing good we're doing good and the trigger doesn't work of course it doesn't um you know that that trigger right there is for the manure 
but for some reason it ain't working with this with this trailer right about here. <sighs> Manure is frustrating. This is extremely frustrating. Well, I gotta be honest with you, I just don't have the patience to make this work, so I'm just going to landscaping. Uh, we'll go into sculpting, soften, uh, make it as small as we can. Yeah, and we'll just do that. It's gonna, it's gonna mess up a few things here and there, but <laughs> we got floating cows, homie. Hang on, I gotta take a screenshot. So unfortunately, none of the uh, manure really. It just kind of popped up again. That's so annoying. And why does it come out the back of the shed? It's so stupid. Oh, I'm going to try and back this thing in there one more time and see if it works. Maybe I triggered something to where it didn't like that I had messed with it and it didn't want to work. Most of the time, these work just fine. This is the first manure trigger I found that doesn't want to work. And it still doesn't want to work. I did check the trailer on the silos, though, and it works just fine. Uh, so, yeah. Again, super annoying. Very, very frustrating. Uh, and kind of... It, it, it makes you not want to to have animals on the, on the farm. Where is it? Come on. God, it's so annoying. Boop. All right. Manure should be gone. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't magically spawn again. Oh, so here's the fun part. Um, we've gotten through this entire video <laughs> and yeah, okay, goodness, the, the manure hasn't respawned. Um, we've gotten through this whole thing and unfortunately for us, we haven't even done anything yet. All I did was sell a few things, make some money and buy some extra fields. So it looks like we may end up having to go through the next day in game just to get to the parts that we need to do. Maybe this is going to be a, a, another one of those uh, episode 10, part 2 kind of things. I think Edgewater, I did part 1 and part 2 of episode 30. And we're going to have to do that again. So uh, uh, sit back, hang tight, uh, relax. I guess while you're here, maybe we could talk about what it is we are going to be doing. So we're going to take our combine harvesters there. We are going to fly out of here. And we're going to go through all of these fields. So... What do we have and what are we going to be doing? So we've got 165 or field six, this little guy. And then these four plots right here are all wheat. Then we have all of these plots right here, which are grass. Some of these are going to be hay. Some of these are going to be silage. We, we need all of it. And, uh, and then from there, well, we make our silage, make our hay and rock and roll. Maybe it's going to be a three-parter. Who knows? Maybe we should just call it episode 11 and forget about it. Maybe we'll do that. Who knows? Either way, we will see you in the next one.